How we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Gently With It. I'm Will. I'm Audrey. And what are we playing today? Legendary. Legendary. Marvel. Marvel. With. With. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. So we are playing the new, I don't have the box here, so I'll have to show you the rules. We are playing the new Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volumes 1 and Volume 2. Um, so tonight we are going to go up against Ronin while we try to escape the prison and it's an unescapable prison so that that may hold true knowing our luck um so we'll go ahead and flip the camera over we'll go over wh what our setup is and go over the scheme twist master strikes all that fancy stuff it's kind of like all that youtube stuff but it's all marvel stuff uh, i want to say hello bagel top thanks for joining us tonight hello yay for face down cards yeah <laughs> I said we set it up once already and the cards were face up. I'm like, I don't think that's right. Uh, so here we are. We are playing uh, again the, uh, what is it? The inescapable uh, Ky Kylan Kiln. I forget how they pronounce it in the movie. Uh, Space Prison. So it's got eight twists plus an extra villain group. Um, so our villain groups are going to be the Ravagers, because of course I came in the box the uh, followers of Ronin, because we have to, because we're playing against Ronin. Uh, and then we added the Chitari, because then it's like another spacey type class. Uh, and then for the henchmen, we did put in the uh, Hydra pilots, because they look the most space-like. And then I'm trying to make a theme out of this, and it's gonna, it's not gonna go very well, but we're gonna pretend like it's thematic, that, that the, sh the Hydra is in space for some reason. Uh, special rules, heroes at the start, uh, if they enter or come into the uh, headquarters, they're going to be face down. Uh, we have to spin one attack to get them to flip over. Uh, for a twist, we have to spin the amount of the twist. So three attack, five attack, six recruit, seven attack, um, or twist eight, evil just wins at that point. Um, to basically hmm. prevent this effect, the effect is we will have to um, gain a wound when we draw our next hand. And then we will also, everybody gets imprisoned again. So they all flip back over and get, basically, we switch their cells. They were getting so close to escaping, they're gonna get their cells switched around so that way they have to find a new way to escape, I guess. Uh, but mm. that is the scheme. Now for Ronin, um, killing, kill <laughs> so it's the kill the killing room. Uh, Ronin the accuser, the mastermind, so he always leads followers of Ronin. Like I said, they are in there. Uh, Master Strike, each player is going to have to discard a card um, at random. Ronin is going to capture the strike and it basically gives him plus one attack. Uh, when we gain the ship, basically by defeating him once, um, then we will basically get to draw a card. So basically that discard is offset by the draw. Uh, and there are four of those under there. Um, for heroes, uh, to keep it thematic, I put in Nick Fury. So we're gonna pretend like Nick Fury is trying to help them escape from prison. There's that shield Hydra connection as <laughs> loose as it is. Uh, then, of course, we have the rest of the main guardians. Mantis isn't in here because we want to play her with Ego. So I left her out for this particular setup. Also, we do have some custom cards. Um, basically, I put them up on BGG if anybody... I don't know why I'm showing the front of the camera. Uh, if anybody's interested, but this way, it, to me, it feels a little bit more thematic. Um, so I have... Um, what's her name? Irene Rael, which is Nova Prime. She counts as the shield officer. Um, and then for my uh, starting cards, I created a Nova Corpsman, uh, which is a hero. So that's my normal recruit card. And then I have Nova Star Blaster, which is basically my attack card. Um, also, I think it'll help when we're playing a two-player game. I know Bagel Top, he's got villains and um, regular. So he actually has two sets of starter cards. So you can tell what's left hand, what's right hand. This way we'll know which one's me and which one's you. So we do need to shuffle these. Uh, one other set of customs that I created were some custom bystanders just to make it more thematic. Uh, I got three of these. One of them is actually in here. I cheated. Uh, and then the other one is Cosmo. This is from one of the villain bystanders. Basically, it's when you rescue this bystander, rescue another bystander. It fit the picture. So in villains, I think it says when you kidnap, then you get to kidnap another one. So we've got them. And then Cosmo. Cosmo is based off of Mirage? No. It's based off the X-Men one. But the pinky one. Um, the mind control one, because, you know, Cosmo. Uh, but it says, when you rescue this by standard, gain it as a hero. Reveal the top card of your deck. Uh, you get plus attack equal to a printed 
attack. So we're gonna go ahead and mix them in. And then we do have the bystander that came with uh, Spider-Man. Why? Because, well, I bought all of it to get free shipping. But that also means that I have an extra, an extra Iron Man promo card now that we're gonna probably have to give away. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi guys, nice to see a new, to me, legendary streamer. We appreciate that. Uh, we have a lot of legendary now, so we'll probably um, try to make a legendary stream at least once a month to get through all the content. Um, similar with Marvel Champions, we have a lot of Marvel Champions still to play. And then we have a lot of Marvel United still to play too. Yeah. So technically we could, we could do a Marvel game every week like if we streamed on mondays we could do marvelous mondays but we don't stream on mondays maybe we should switch to monday wednesday fridays and then saturdays for campaign games and then sundays for kickstarter games <laughs> i don't think oddly wants to do that much streaming uh mcu guardians is by far uh the best photographic set yet yeah, I like the, the graphics, the photos on these. Some of them I don't. Some of them do look kind of weird, like um, the, the Drax choice they chose where he's like all blue. I didn't really care for that. And then uh, I'm really not sure why they had to do Quill with his shirt off. I mean, thematically, it's like he doesn't need any of this, which is why he's naked, because that happened in the movie. Remember when they were stripping him for the to put on the jumpsuit for the prison? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. Um, and remember we were talking about like, why isn't there, why aren't these two? They yep. did add a two. It's the um, sidekicks, but there's no sidekicks for the the thinum, cinematic version uh, of the game. So okay. there you go. All right, so we do need to figure out who goes first. How do we do that? With our 20 sided extra life die for Children's Miracle Network. I show it here. Like you show you it there. See. Um, because we support Children's Miracle Network through donations, and you can also help the Ninos. I don't the links down below. So we do have that link down below. So uh, click on it, goes to our link tree. There's a link to Extra Life. Uh, every donation helps the Ninos. Um, I haven't started. I know there's one other big legendary streamer. He's the one that creates the custom cards. Uh, we don't have custom cards, uh, but if you have miniatures that you need painted, we do that. Uh, if you want to get one of our calling games, we're going to start calling our game collection because we're getting too many. We'll start giving those away. Plus we have giveaways. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, we have a Marvel United X-Men core box that will be painted uh, once we hit $900 through Extra Life. So that is that. Um, I will go with Odd. I'll also see what people are saying in chat. Odd. I played Oops. through this Good scheme uh, and it was a pain. Good luck. Uh, that was a one. That is an Odd. It can't be as bad as our um, first cinematic studios playthrough we chose every single thing that made us gain a wound and we only were allowed to have 12 wounds total in the in the entire deck or we lost uh we have a custom campaign that we just had to expand for the third time uh but not the last oh okay so kyle that's you that does the the custom uh he's got city cards so in certain ones you can destroy the city so he's got custom cards that are like destroyed pieces of the city and then he's got, for this year, it was um, the Astral Plane for the Doctor Strange set is another place that you have to send people to. So he's got that and it's holographic. So it kind of wow. looks like mystical and stuff like that. But he does that as uh, for his extra life donation. So I thought mm -hmm. that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, me gusta ayudar los niños. Muy bien. Muy bien. <laughs> Bego, you, you, you habla espanol or, you, 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 or you're good at Google? Or good at using Google Translate. Oh, four, rude. five, six. Six? One, two, three, four, six. five, six, six. 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 All right. Oh, we need, a, we need a bad guy. Let's make sure we get a bad guy out. Let's not forget that. So we start off with a Hydro Pilot henchman in the sewers. So they get, uh, we get plus one recruit if we defeat them. All right. So I got my, my new fancy spaceship cards. Uh, since I can't defeat anybody, I guess I will flip over... Two. Let's do this one. We got Drax, Prison Riot Drax, uh, plus excessive violence, get plus two recruit, uh, and then three attack, five to recruit. Excessive violence uh, is if you spend more attack than is required to defeat. So if I paid four attack to defeat that, then I would get excessive violence. And then this one. So Nick Fury coming in. 
So you may KO a shield hero from your hand or discard pile. If you do, you may gain a shield officer to your hand. So my cards were bad. Somebody pointed out to me, I put the guardians symbol on it. I shouldn't have done that. I should have put the shield symbol, but even that wouldn't work with this card technically. It wasn't thematic for me. So either way, these are still shield. These are still shield, even though I've got a different picture on them. All right, so I have four. So the only thing Nick I can Fury. recruit is Nick Fury. So I guess I'm going to get Nick Fury. And then we're going to put another Nick. Oh, dang it. We're not supposed to know that that's Nick Fury. I didn't see. I saw. Dang it. <laughs> this, this is going to take a minute to get used to. All right. So there we go. That is all, right. all I got. So, uh, I got to get you a villain. The villano. Uh, I've been learning oh, Spanish for a few years, getting there. Uh, I have Spanish-speaking partner, just like uh, someone else I know. Uh, oh, travel-sized. Yeah, I got travel-sized. I'm actually printing out. I've got to print his dividers. I actually had to leave a comment because I couldn't find them all. I had to hunt them down. He didn't have in his geek list yet. Uh, Playtester for Legendary, who's very active in the community, uh, who has Extra Life Campaign for Virginia Children's Hospital. Um, yeah, ours, we I don't do the West Virginia. I did the very first two years I ever did Extra Life, but now I do the Critical Relief. That way it's just everywhere and anywhere that they need the uh, funds. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So I'm going to spend this two to flip two. Yep, flip two. Dos. Dos, dos, dos. Mm, Peter. 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 It's it's not it's not Potter, it's Peter. It's Peter. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we played the Harry Potter deck building game the other day. If you're I hope you're doing better on Spanish than I am, Bagel Top. I've I'm struggle. My brain can't get around it. Like I, I even went through all the Rosetta Stone on the app through the advanced levels and still no bueno. I buy Gomorrah. Gomorrah? Um, I recruit Gomorrah. You recruit Gomorrah. All right. And that's it. Cinco? So, Yaka Arrow, Villainous Weapon, uh, Villainous Weapon, Ambush. If Yondo is in the city, he captures this. Uh, if he has any other player's victory pile, he enters an empty space, then captures this. So he's not, so he doesn't capture this. Uh, triggered Artifact, so if we gain this, when you play a red card, because I don't know what they are, or a blue card, you get plus one attack. So this goes plus four to the first guy, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, it goes to the first guy. Do we draw six or five? Six. This oh, game is six. Five. I know six. Okay, I don't. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> I cannot count. You cannot count today. Okay. No counting. Uh, falling meeple, by the way. But oh, the rolling meeple, by the way. Uh, pretty well, actually, using Michael Thomas recordings. Don't know who Michael Thomas is. Michael Thomas is great. I mean, it's for me a little bit like very um, traditional. Oh, Spanish traditional, but La not Latin. He, he, Latin he was like he had a lot of languages on, on is recording, repeating, repeating, recording, repeating. repetition. But when I, when I did, uh, I think we were dating when I was teaching. English, no Spanish. It was using those. Uh, Michael Thomas. All right, so I got uh, borrowed Nova Blaster, Star Lord, triggered triggered artifact. Uh, the first time you play an artifact each turn, including this one, you get plus one attack. So he gets mass attack. All right, so to villain. It's master strike. Kind of find that help with my partner who speaks Latin American Spanish. Yeah, I, I tried the Spain Spanish in the fifth, 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 fifth. I, I just, when I was younger, I had a speech epitometh and I couldn't say S's, Z's, and TH's properly. So now when I hear like real Spain Spanish, it just, it hurts my ears so badly. It hurts my toe. <laughs> it hurts Anthony's too. But I have to teach it. Uh, Master Strike, each player discards a card at uh, random. Ronan Oddish. captures this strike as a Nick. Nick so he, he captured. So yeah, he captures a strike as a um, attack. Oh, so that gives him plus uno. So he's got one, 
extra attack right now. And then we have to discard a card at random. Thanks for drawing that. You put it there. Combine that with the help from my, uh, yeah, partner. That I think that's kind of the problem is Audrey speaks English because she wants to speak English. So we don't speak Spanish. I forget that I am supposed forgets. to hablar Espanol solamente. No solamente. Para ti. Sí. No solamente. All right. So that's what I'm discarding. What am I discarding? Oh, I discarded oh, I'm my... Discarding token. You discarded your good card? Well. All right. So I have three recruit, one attack, uh, triggered artifact. The first time you play an artifact this turn, including this one. So I just played that one. So this gives me one attack. So I have two attack. Oh, hang on. Whose turn was it? Mio, I, no, drew, it my... I drew Master Strike. Oh, then it's not my turn yet. I was still discarding for your turn. Never mind. I forgot. Michael so... Thomas doesn't speak like Castilian Spanish. Ah, is that what's called Castilian? Yeah, Castellano. Castilian, yes, yeah. From Castilla. There's a guy on. There's a guy on a uh, TikTok. I love watching him because his wife is uh, Miss Mexico, right? Miss Universe or Miss Mexico. Um, so he he does these like learning Spanish the hard way. And last night I learned about what I did, or Aur Aurita, which can mean <laughs> now, never, a few minutes ago, a few minutes from now, five weeks from now, seven days from now. It's like, so when all is it? <laughs> all of the above. Aurita. Okay. Mm okay. So I want to do the spend a next. No. 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 You're I you're can't. actually doing this stuff. So now. I need to buy now. Just normal. Oh, you just have five. Yeah. So you can buy. I got so four. You got, you're doing Gamora, right? There's another Gamora. Four, four. Oh, cuatro, cuatro. Lo siento. Yeah. So you could do that Gamora. I imagine you're also going to want uh, baby baby Groot. So I guess I'll leave uh, Rocket oh, and Groot see. to you. I see. Babies. Babycito. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't roll your R's for the longest. Yeah, I, I didn't have a problem rolling my R's. I was able to do that in like in high school. That was actually one of the things. I actually over roll my R's. I actually rolled too much. Oh, uh, yay. We have another artifact. Villainous weapon. Put all heroes from the headquarters on the bottom of the hero deck. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, triggered artifact. When you fight a mastermind, take another turn after this one. Don't play a card from the villain deck at the start of that turn. This ability can only be used once per game. Ooh, isn't that fancy smancy? I guess this guy gets it because the other guy already has something. I'm guessing that's how artifacts attach. Uh, really makes early recruit. You get a lot more useful. Oh, excessive kindness is your favorite. Yeah. Although with this one, you're using all of your, well, you'd use your excessive. Violence. No. Well, you would, normally you would, you would use that extra one attack for your excessive violence. But here we need the extra attack for this. So we lose all of these. Oh. Which means I, I know nothing now. Por qué? Por qué the, oh. the weapon that came in. That's por qué. Three, four, five. All right. What? Oh my God. Now I can flip over two. Nice. One and two. And then I got recruit three, which all I can recruit is uh, Drax. Although I guess I, I'm doing Drax and Star. I have this one here, but this one's this card. It yeah, was... that was in your discard pile. I didn't shuffle it. I don't know why you didn't shovel that back in. You should have shoveled it. I burned it. In. You burned it. Yeah, we're not burning cards right now. We haven't gotten that expansion added in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so the way I did that was correct. All right. So that was Toto. So back to you. Draw one villain. Draw the villain. Scheme twist. Oish. Now that's the one we don't want to do. All right. So this is on you. So scheme twist. This is twist number one. Uh, so you need to spin three attack. Do you I have three attack? <laughs> All right. So if you do not have three attack, um, spin this amount for this escape plan else. You draw your new heart. When we draw, when you draw like your new hand, you will gain a wound. Um, then imprison and mix up the heroes. Okay, so the imprison doesn't happen until you draw a new hand. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. No, Dundee. Okay, so in order to prevent this scheme twist, you need to spin that amount of attack, and you only have two attack. But what does it say? Oh, for the for the first, first one three. To the third one. Okay. Yeah, and you don't have that. So at the end of your turn, you're going to gain a wound. And these are all going to get randomized. 
So right now you can still flip them over. Okay, so I'm going to change this here and here, and I'm going to flip this one. It's Gamora. It's Gamora but that's her. That's her big card, though. <laughs> and start. Start word. This does make it harder because it is a little bit harder to try to, like, strategically build your deck because it's like, oh, I've got four. See, they don't, they there's nobody that's four, yet. and even if there was, is it the the hero you're trying to build off yes, of? Yes, right? So you could use your use your three and get you get you an agent. Which doesn't always isn't always a bad thing to get the agents. All right, so now when you draw your new hand, it says you gain a wound. Now where do you gain the wound? Do you gain it into your hand? It says gain a wound. So I guess it goes, yeah, gain, gain goes into your discard. So that goes there. And then all of these get flipped over. Gracias. So I've had two turns in a row where I don't know what's happening. Uh, yep, that's a problem you ran into. Yeah. Uh, gain goes to discard. Yep. All right. So unfortunately, two turns in a row, I have no clue what card I'm going to be able to buy. So I have to use all my attack just to know what I'm going to buy. Oh, we have Jeff. Hello, Jeff. But it's spelled G-E-F. Hmm. That, that, that'd be Hef. We have Hef. <laughs> Hef the Raj Brother. Uh, gets plus two when he commands. He currently does not command. Ambush. Swap Jeff with the leftmost... Dang it. He commands anyways. There so he is. So he has plus two attack because uh, he's in command. I mean, in command means he's to the left of um, the other people. Well, there's no other ravagers though. So technically, he commands. Well, he commands himself because he's the farthest to the left. So he he still commands. Um, and then fight if Jeff was commanding the ravagers. Draw a card. Okay. So if we beat him, you get to draw a card. Okay. Uh, he doesn't swap. Why doesn't he swap? So to... oh, oh, leftmost know. Ravager. There's no Ravagers. Ah. ah. Very important to read words. Very important to read words. There we go. Looks like that. He's still commanding, though, because he's the only one here. Three, four, five. Okay, that's my six. All right. So I got attack. attack. Ooh, I, got Ooh. I finally have three attack, and I can't use it. Three recruit. Because that's the problem. To get rid of these guys are three plus four is seven. Three plus six is nine. Three plus two is five. So, all right. I guess I'm doing this. So I have Star-Lord. Naked Star-Lord. Gamora. And another Star-Lord. So I have three recruit. I can't recruit anybody. So I guess I'm getting Nova Prime. All right. Well, that was eventful. Uh, but he still commands. Yeah, I remember reading that he still commands even if he's the only one out there. So, on villain's turn. Uh, that Rooftops is the Chitari Leviathan. So rooftops conquer too. That means if he is in the roof, if he's in the rooftops, well, you don't put him there. He, he they always go to the beginning. And everybody else slows down. I see. Um, that means that if. if Somebody is in the rooftops, he gets plus two. Guess what? There's somebody in the rooftops. So all of our bad guys have some type of buff. Uh, fight each player with no bystanders in their victory pile gains a wound. So we have to have a bystander in our victory pile to prevent him from hurting us. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. Nice. Uh, where is Nova Prime from? Nova Prime, I, I did custom art. That's all. I just wanted it to be more thematic. So I just made Nova Prime. It's basically just Maria Hill. I put the... It's on Board Game Geek. So there's a post where I've got them. It does have the Guardian symbol. I need to switch it out with the uh, Shield symbol. So it's not game breaking when you play it with Shield or with Guardians. What it call, how is an artifact? Like uh, artifact, are there these, Yeah, this is an artifact. That's an artifact. If we beat him up, he gives us that one artifact. So how do I control one? You currently don't. 
But how would I? When you beat one of them up, you get it, you put okay. it into your deck, and then when you play it, it stays out. Oh, I forgot to explain artifacts to you. That's another new card. Artifacts stay in the field, kind of like other games, like locations and stuff, where when you play it, it stays out there permanently. Okay. Well, there might be ways to get rid of it, but... I don't know. I guess... So um... that's... I don't control a card. I mean, I don't draw a card. Oh, so her her thing, you only get two if I, you control her. <laughs> oh, you draw a card, but you still get your two. Let's see, so I have but you get five. Two attacking. Two attacking, so I don't need flipping this. See, you... because I cannot use them in any other way. Yeah. All right, so there is our first divided card. It's an expensive divided card. Oh, these are all expensive. But you got them. Well, you only have five. You have five monies. Five. So, Star Lord is it. See. Star Lord is it. Let's see. What Star Lord was that? What's he do? Oh, he does. Triggered Artifact. The first time you play an artifact each turn, including this one, draw a card. Hmm. Oh, if you have Star Lord, you have to get rid of him from time to time. Oh, the artifacts, I'm guessing. Because I think where Bagel's coming back is the artifacts, you have to get rid of him. Because I think Star Lord activates off of his artifacts. All right. Villain, Scheme Twist. All right, so Scheme Twist, I need three attack or the same thing happens to me that happens to you. One. Nope, that's not happening. Uh, let's see, but if I KO a shield from my hand or discard, if you do, I can gain a shield officer. Well, that's fine, yeah. I'll, I'll KO. Well, hang on. Order of Operation, I would want to KO after I spend it, though. Um, so I get one attack, which I guess just flips this over. And then I've got four recruit, which basically gives me another promotion. And then I'm going to KO this little guy to get a shield officer. Well, in my case, a Nova officer. All right, and then I gain a wound. And then... Refill happens before or after the draw. I might have messed that up last time. I guess it really doesn't matter because it's it's going to get randomized anyways. So it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So we're at two, two of eight, two of eight schemes. There, you get the same thing that happened to me last time. You have no idea who anybody is. No. Nope. But you get a villain though. Uh, immediately fill. Okay, so it fill. Oh, that's right. It does immediately fill when you buy. It's right. the same. Harry Potter's confusing me now because Harry Potter, you do it at the end of your turn. So after you're all done and you refill your hand, then you do it at the end of your turn. It's the same con con yep. con con conqueror. Same conqueror. Okay, everybody everybody slides down. Oh, we're about to have some escapes if we can't start beating people up. This is rough because you can't get your attacks. Okay, so I got to play this. You must put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck and then draw two cards. So basically, if there's a card in your hand that you don't want out of all these cards, I'm going to use one of yeah, these. Yeah, so you can put that, yeah, put one of him, and then that gets you two more cards. Well, I mean, but well, it gave you one more recruit than you had last time, so it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you have tres ataques. Tres ataques. The problem is, is he is seven. He is seven. No, this one. He is five. He is seven. He is nine. Oh. Hmm. Tres. You need attack. Do any of these have attack? Drax has attack. Uh, this is triggered artifact. Whenever you play a um, green or yellow, you get plus one. I don't know if you have any green or yellows. I don't have any green or yellow. I think I have because I've been getting drafts. Oh, green. I have green. So I can do anything. Shoot, officer. Okay. We're going to have an escape. I We're going to have an escape. Try. All right. Here goes our escape. Dual knives is good. 
Uh, Ronin got some shiny new weapon soon. Oh yeah, the weapon goes to him. Oh, and another... Actually, we're, we're, we're safe for one more turn. A spaceship got a weapon. Um, Villainous weapon. If a follower of Ronin captures this, each player gains a wound. Well, this is not a follower of Ronin. Uh, triggered artifact. Whenever you defeat a villain, you get one additional recruit. Yeah, but that means this guy is 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11. <laughs> we are not going to finish this too. Oh man, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. All right. So I got two attack, which isn't enough to beat anybody up. So we'll just flip over the other two cards. We got Naked Star Lord and Gamora. All right, I got four. I guess I'm going with Drax again. So get some kind of attack going on. All right. Back to you. Don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> oh, it's a Chitari soldier. What is he? Chitari commander. What's he do? Ambush. After this enters the city, if the roof if the rooftops are empty, reveal the top card of the villain deck. No, if it is a aren't. villain, that villain enters the roof. Tops. All right, so there is a color difference. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this or looked at the uh, difference. I've got a color difference. I've actually got three I color differences. See. This is lighter. This is more blue. This is more purple. I have no clue which cards came from. Well, I mean, I'm, I can flip this over. All right, so let's see here. So the purple one is a Guardian's card. The bluer one is a Guardian's card. So the Guardian's cards alone can bleed blue and purple. And then these are base and these are base so the base See? set are very lightened and then the guardians are either purple or blue so this is how they force you to buy sleeves uh and that's only two uh slightly opaque sleeves yeah i don't know what to do with so him. unfortunately he escapes this now goes on him so he just got stronger so he now has two weapons Um, mm -hmm. and then this goes one, this goes one, this goes one, this goes one. Uh, did he get an escape effect? No. Um, and then we have to KO something from here. We don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, don't no, want to give, no, we want, don't want to get rid of attack. This is attack. We're, we're, we're losing on attack right now. This is attack. The problem is these are the two, these are their two higher cost cards. So, like, keeping them makes it more difficult for us to buy things. But they're their most powerful cards. I don't know. This is a difficult situation. Oh. Uh, hang on. What do, I got? what do I got to... This was your turn, right? How much, how much recruit do you have to see whether or not... You're going to want to do that or not. Do you have... Well, that's not a recruit. That's a recruit. Oh. Although that's your... That's your... Yeah. Oh, artifact. Yeah, so two... So... So you have siete. seven? Yep. So you can get your Gamora. So don't discard your Gamora. Um, I don't have enough to buy the eight Star Lord. Just, just get rid of the eight Star Lord. I hate to get rid of it. I just... I don't know when I would Why be able to buy do? him. Um... He gets KO'd, so the KO pile. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he gets refilled. Okay, so to turn off. Let's flip this one. KO oh, again. it's KO six and under. Ah, you're right. Okay, so hang on, that's got to come back. It's got to be six and under. So that would be this Star Lord instead. <sighs> See, that's why we need an audience. That's a problem when I play play other games. Is we don't have enough of an audience to tell us what we're doing wrong, so we just keep playing it wrong the entire game. So that's well, another Gamora, but you're going to get your good Gamora card, right? See. Si. See? Si. So your seven card. All right. I believe he's going to get another weapon. We just haven't gotten enough attack. Yep, 
Uh, Ravager Starship. Oh, no, it's another... No, it's a weapon. Uh, villainous Weapon, Ambush. If Ravager captures this, that Ravager swaps bases with the leftmost Ravager in the city. And no, the Chitauri is capturing it. So that just made him five. That makes him eight. I'm only up to three damage. So two, three, four. I have four damage. I have four recruit. Which four, unfortunately, is not enough to buy anything. Um, is anybody four? No, he's seven. He's five. He's seven. He's 11. He's eight. Okay, so my attack is basically useless. Thank you. Good to know. Oh, I have both the cards that you'd want to get. So excessive violence, draw a card, one attack. Excessive kindness, draw a card, one recruit. Uh, Gamora, if I play another red, I get to draw a card. And with Nebula, um, if I play a yellow, I get plus one attack. I have four, so I think I'll do both of them because that'll refresh the market at least. Because I don't have excessive, I had excessive violence and I couldn't even. So can I use excessive violence on the cards? Uh, Chout helps me so much when things are missed. So I ha I had an extra attack. Can excessive violence trigger off of the reveal? Hmm. Once returned, you can spend one more than you need to fight a villain or master. Nope, it says villain or mastermind. Fuck. I didn't want to do that anyways. <laughs> I didn't want to do that anyways. All right. I don't have make any, new make new make new any, friends. Any attack? I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't know why we have no attack. Two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna lose just so, from things escaping. I got only four. Oh, because you. And wanted. I have no triggered artifact. The first artifact. time you play an artifact each turn, including well, that's including this one. This is counts as, a, as an artifact. So this is the first time you played this, so this counts. You get to draw a card. See? See. What? How well, you're not I... playing it yet. You haven't drawn the villains yet. Oh. Villains might make us disc make might make you discard something at random. Mm, Craglin, a bomb for a uh, uh, Craglin. So Craglin, Craglin gets plus two while he commands the Ravagers. Ambush. Swap Craglin with the leftmost Ravager in the city, which would be this guy here. Although, in order for him to come into the city. He has to escape. He gets another weapon. This is not going to be pretty. I I have an odd feeling he's got way too many too many weapons now. It's complicado. So he comes into the city and swaps with this guy. Um, ambush swap card. Okay, we're already dead. Uh, if Kraken is commanding, which he is, uh, when we fight, draw two cards. Um, but he gets plus two when he commands, so he's six. He's no longer commanding. We can finally defeat him. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. But what is he? What is he up to? Four, ten, sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> That's, not That's not possible. That's not possible. There's no way. Are we playing right? Yes, we're playing right. I I don't know how you were supposed to knock these guys out quickly enough before they took all the weapons. I would have preferred more master strikes and schemes coming out. We shuffled the deck too good. <laughs> <laughs> all the master strikes and schemes are at the bottom. I uh, gotta find Drax's rare. Okay, so Drax's rare must do something for us. Oh, so can I do this? Yeah. So you, not, you play that. So you draw your card. Oh no. Mm. Okay. Well, more recruit. That's a lot of recruit for you. Two, six, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six. 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 Which is good. Six. So you have Drax at six. Yeah, because you don't have any attack. That's really all you can do. Okie dokie, Smokey. Do I have to keep my wound in my... Yeah, your wound stays power. until you KO wound. All right. So that's what I'm going to have. 
Triggered artifact when you played, which I didn't, so I don't even get the plus one attack on him. All right. Hydra pilots, henchman, villain. So, oh, we forgot to KO, you forgot to KO something that was six or less, so. Yes. Um, so we're going to have another escape, uh, no escape effect. How do I KO something six or less if I don't know what they are? Oh, they all count as zero. Yeah, they count. That's right. Zero. It says they're zero. So this one just got rid of a Nick Fury. That's fine. I'm fine with getting rid of a Nick Fury. I'm fine with getting rid of a Nick Fury. I've already got two of those. And this guy's now commanding again. So therefore, now he's back up to five. Uh, it's rough for the face down the HQ. It really affects your deck planning. Um, call zero, yeah, so we can KO them. All right, so I have two attack. See, he should get one. Well, no, okay, trigger effect. Whenever you play an, or another, oh, but he doesn't count as another. He is other. So two. Uh, that one. Oh, that wasn't good. And that one. We are Groot. Yeah, Groot. Uh, I only have four recruit. Wow. No bueno. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. One uh, villain. Attack. It's your attack. Nice. Or attack. But. Yeah, but everything, well, except for this guy. But. So draw your villain to first. Play. You always forget about the villain. Mm -hmm. Master Strike. Master Strike. Okay. What does this so now he gets another plus one. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> you can't help but laugh. No. <laughs> All right. So if I want to draw two cards, I need to spend one. Yeah, discard so one to draw one two. Because I cannot do anything with one. Yeah. Yep. So you must put it at the bottom of my deck. Yeah, bottom of your deck. I think I did this draw wrong two. last No, you time. did it right last time. You put it on the bottom of your deck. Oh. And then draw two. Not from your discard pile. That 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 isn't gonna work. It would be good. <laughs> Alright. Um if you control an artifact. Which you still don't control an art. We still do not control any artifacts. So I have four attacks. Which is enough to get rid of this guy. Okay. So you get rid of him. He's going to give you plus one recruit. So you have um, two, Cuatro. four, five. Yay. And you can get your Gamora. Oh, Gamorita. Which needs artifacts, which you don't have. <laughs> Whenever you draw a card during your turn, you get plus one attack. This is good. Yeah, but it's a triggered artifact. So I have to have... Oh, have no, it triggers off of that ability. Yeah. So yeah, when you do her draw ability, then you're going to get plus one attack. Yep. So you got that other draw card. All right. So I got a wound this turn. And I got some recruit promotions. So, um, villain. This one weapon. Yay, that's the last thing we need to do is make him stronger. Ambush. If Korath is in the city, he captures that. He is not. Um, so he gets plus three. Triggered artifact. Whenever you play a card that costs six or more, you get plus one attack. So, I have three recruit. So, all I can do is recruit this. And then I play... Uh, play Nick Fury to get rid of that. Or another one. And then play Nick Fury to get rid of that. Or another one. You're doing too many things. Oh, it says hand or discard pile. Sorry. Come back. Gotta get rid of him out of my discard pile. It didn't matter. Same difference. <laughs> Same different. They were in my discard pile. All right. All of you go to the discard pile. Uh, you had a Star Lord one out. Eight. This is this Star Lord? Okay. Marty said we had a Star Lord one out. But I didn't have a Star Lord. I mean, it's Star Lord. Marty's gonna have to Marty's gonna have to catch up and tell us what what he meant by that because I'm confused now. All right, so new villain. New 
Jano. I'm going to have way too many Nova Commanders in here. Although that should mean that I can recruit almost anything. But we need to attack it. Yeah, so he just kind of chills out there. Uh, and then, of course, somebody is in the rooftop, so he is plus six. Okay, if you drew two, at least two cards this turn, you get plus two. Oh, triggered artifact to draw a card. But I did not. I didn't I didn't draw two cards. So, sh uh, so I have you drew six at least two that. cards. Okay. Yeah. Can I do something Well, with that's where you want the rest of the Gamora cards, so you can do that. One, two, three, four. Six. How can I KO? Uh, with five? Six. Or well. Five, six. Six, six, six. You're right. Six. Six. Yeah. Um, so he is six. He is eight. He is eight. He is nine to <laughs> eleven. That is seven. He eight. is seven. five, six, seven. So seven. that one's the only one. Uh, what's the fight effect? It says ambush. Oh, no, no fight effect? No. Oh, okay. Here? Yep. And they have four. Oh, but yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah, because you spent all of your attack. But there. Uh, well, you can get your shield agent. Yeah, you just have to get Maria Hill. Have to get Maria Hill. And the wonderful wound again. All right. Let's see how much worse this can get. Scheme twist. So I need three attack. And I have to spend it, right? I have to spend my three attack. Uh, spend this amount. So I lose all, I lose all of my attack. Wow. Yeah. So there went that. So that way I didn't take another wound. And three recruit. I'm I'm not gonna spend that three recruit on the Nova Commander. I don't I don't I feel like I've got so many of them now, it's just gonna just clog up my deck. Yeah, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get another one. So that was kind of a useless turn. Although hang on, I didn't recruit anybody. Oh well, hang on. Does attacking for the scheme void the discard of the wound? Because if, as long as it, it's, I think it's if you don't defeat a mastermind or a villain, then you can discard a wound. I can rest. But if I remember, it's only if you attack for those two reasons. See if I can find it before chat catches up. Wounds. Uh, blah, blah, when a player gains a wound, duh, 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 no healing wounds. Uh, duh, duh, healing. If you don't recruit, which I didn't, or defeat any villains or minions, you can KO wounds. Cool, I can kill my wound. Oh, nice. It didn't say, sp yeah, I'm spinning attack. I'm not attacking a villain or, um, a villain or mastermind. Yeah. Yeah, or defeat anybody. Yep. All right, well, since I wasn't going to do anything else that turn, here we go. Mi turno. <gasps> this looks like an artifact. That is an artifact. <laughs> uh, so artifact, um, ambush. Play another card from the villain deck. Oh. Mm. So it goes to the first guy without an artifact, which is this guy here. Which means it's got that much better chance of getting on the boss again. And so I have to defeat... No, you have to play another villain card. But so I can get the artifact. By beating up the guy. No. Eh, these guys are weak. No, but how when am I going to to beat that guy? You need five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. You need nine attacking. Lo siento. I'm so far from that. All right, so, we have to choose which one of these two you want, which one to, you want use. to use. And then... Uh, and then him, he allows you to draw a card, so you'd want to play... You have no other artifacts, you'd rather just play Star-Lord first. So you can get your draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. So your choices are to either get four attack 
plus excessive violence, which you could use actually on the Hydra pilot. What's excessive violence that you do? Reveal the top card of your deck. You may KO it. So allow you to KO your deck to, to thin it out. Or you can choose to do this, but you won't get the bonus. You'll just get three more recruit, which would get you... So yeah, so you can six. either have six recruit, or you can use excessive violence to KO a card. And you can't recruit anybody for six. So... Can I flip, can I do, um, use this to flip? Them? Yeah, if you don't want to do the excessive violence, yeah, you can use that no, to but flip now, somebody. No, you said that about the color, and now I am paying attention well, yeah, to so the color. Yeah, so don't do not do him then, yet. So yeah, use, no, that to K, yeah, use that to KO one of them, so then you know which way to play that card. See, but now you, I'm, I'm, I am seeing it. I cannot un... Oh, you cannot unsee see the color? The, the color. You no. cannot unsee the color. Yes, baby, go So, you only need three. You have three, so... You probably want to play that as Drax then. Okay, Draxito. Which allows you to get rid of him. Yes, yes. Which gets you one additional recruit, but you don't need it. So your three recruit gets and you... three recruit... Groot. Groot has excessive kindness. You get to rescue a bystander. Ooh. Well, that's when you... Play you, it? No, when you spend one more recruit than I'll needed see. to recruit something. I saw that. Now I know what it is. <laughs> it's mi culpa. I know what it is now. It was a baby group. It was another baby group. I don't, I don't know what he shuffled. I don't want to do this. Oh, good. Just to, just the Hydra pilots again. We're going to run out of those, and those are the only things we can beat up on right now. All right, so I got my... Oh, I got both of my double cards. Um, What do I got? So I can discard to get a shield agent. Uh, why not? So I'll discard him to get another shield agent. All right, so three, excessive violence. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Discard any number of them and put the rest back in any order. Uh, two recruit. Recruit, and I can draw a card if I play this first. Um, recruit, and I get an additional attack. Two, three. I already got a yellow, so that'd give me four, five. If I play this, it'd be six. She is six, and that would get me an artifact. Oh no, he's commanding, so he's got plus two. Dang it. It's eight. That's eight. So everything's over six. Why am I why am I counting anymore? Everything's over six. Alright. So I have the three. So I could do excessive violence here. One, two, three. And if I do this, then I do excessive violence, which allows me to draw a card. Or I could do this one. Which gives me three, two, three, four, five. I can do excessive violence, which allows me to look at the top two cards. Wow, this is hard because because I got two of the split cards at the same time, and I don't know which combo to do. Uh, I think you had a Star Lord on the left that should still be out. Star Lord on the left. Do you have a Star Lord? Did you have a Star Lord? I think I do, but. Oh, in your last turn? Mm. Oh, so when you play this, he stays out as an artifact? Ah, oh, we haven't been doing because that. We said that he was that that's what artifacts do, and then we were count we, see, we are counting him as an artifact for that ability, so I guess, yeah. Oh, so he's just supposed to stay out. So, which then would be making your Gamora actually do things. Because yeah, then. I oh, see, I didn't just... know. I didn't know we leave him out as an artifact. Well, yeah, I knew that's how these artifacts worked. I didn't know that's how a person artifact worked. I thought the artifacts were only those. Oh, so that's what. Okay, that's what Marty was talking about earlier. Is that we should have left the Star Lord out. Mm -hmm. So we've had a couple turns where we've made that more difficult on ourselves. There's no way we're coming back from that one. Uh, is that that was your only artifact card, though? I think, right? 
Mm, I think so. I know I've got one in here somewhere too, so I've done the same thing. But this, I mean, I know that he is an artifact All right. because it is a helmet. See? Oh, because it's, hel it's his helmet, not him. Not they him. They should have done a picture yeah, of his helmet. Yeah, or say somewhere artifact. I well, don't they know. do, right there. <laughs> but oh, here, like in the ability, oh, oh, but I mean. The, like it should say Star Lord slat, Star Lord dash so, artifact. Like, like, it, like they say hero, they say villain. Villain they say slash contact, ravager, so it should say artifact dash In Star my Lord. opinion. Maybe. There, that, that's your first impressions. Oh, I'm sorry. Too early for that. Uh, I couldn't see your hands clearly, so I didn't catch until now. Uh, yeah, so the card, just the Thank word. Thank you. I still don't know what I want to do. All right, so I'm going to do... Fine, I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do... Because I've got enough attack to get rid of that guy. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to play Baby Groot, uh, which gives me one more recruit. And then I'm going to play Gamora, which because I played Baby Groot, I get to draw a card. And then that gives me another recruit. All right, so I have lots of recruiting going on and three attack. So I'm going to attack this guy so I can get his plus recruit. So I have two, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven, which is enough to get We Are Groot. Uh, we are Groot. Uh, reveal your hand. Get plus attack for each different card name in your hand. Ooh, and I got these doubles. And that works good with the doubles because this counts as two each. Ooh. So that's actually perfect. Seven, right? That's how many I had. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Seven. That worked out good. All right. All that gets discarded. That was, that was probably our most, uh, I would say, eventful turn, but it actually was the least eventful. Hydra. Can't even tell what these are. Uh, he just goes there. I like when they come in. Those those are easy to get rid of. Uh, Doctor Strange artifacts. Uh, there's another artifacts in the game. Infinity gems, Arcadian weapons, etc. Yeah, I knew about the gems. And I knew they went one, and then you got the gem, but it wasn't a you know a card. So to play this card, I'm going to discard this one. To play this card, you must discard a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So all two cards. I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. And then this. If you control an artifact, draw a card. So you control. Sí, pero That's espera, what... espera. You don't want to play her yet. You want to, you want to play her oh, first. Sí. So you play her, because now you get to draw a card. Oh, wait. Wait. This is the same lady. That's fine. And then this one. Yeah, now that one. Triggered effect. I get oh, that triggered one. artifact. She should actually already be in play from your previous turn. She should have been. She should have been also in, an object. Retractable yeah, he should have. He should have been in play since your previous turn. Yeah. So you're technically one card down. I'm playing so wrong. I know we are both playing wrong, so we're going to put that into play because that should have been in play. Pairs of Asgard, Fear itself, Doctor Strange. Yeah, and see that's for us. We started with the core set and then we went into the mcu set and now we're going into this so we skipped all of that here you should have one more card because that should have already been in play because you you've played that at least three times all right so triggered effect whenever you draw a card which you did you drew two three cards mm -hmm. uh but you only get plus one it's not for each so since you drew a card you get plus one so you have plus one attack now here, do you want something to say that you have plus one attack? There you go. You got plus one attack. Well, I have three. The base attack. <laughs> Which allows you to get rid of this guy. That would give you another recruit. But I have a lot or, of recruit. Or, well, you probably want to... Yeah, you got a lot of a recruit. You might want to just... So flip them. See? Maybe. Two, four, five, six. Yeah, because you can't buy him. Yeah, I have to flip them. With all of three? See, because... Well, well yeah, you do? can't do it with anything else. Yeah. It's a new expansion. We're all learning. Totally fine. Mm. Hey, you get another helmet. <laughs> so you have six. So Nick Fury, you get plus one for each other shield hero you played. Which wow. are these. Um, I like Nick Fury. Five. Triggered artifact. First time. Yeah, I think we need to go after attacks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, this one here. Triggered artifact. First time you play an artifact each turn, including this one, you get plus one. No, recruit. we need... We need we need a 
Pawtucket. Okay. So for each. Oops. Hold on, guys. One moment. Hello. All right. Uh. Yeah, it was just a. It was a disconnect. I'm trying to figure out how to mute this microphone. How about that? There we go. So the, the the microphones, I guess, have a little bit of like residual energy. So when I turned it off, it didn't mute right away. Is, there's got to be a mute button on this thing. Probably this one. Testing, testing. No, see, it still comes through. Um, I'm amazed there's no mute on here. Hang on. I don't do it. I go all the way. How about this one? Yeah, you're working now. I, I that was my real estate agent guy. Sorry, I had to I had to take that. All right, so I don't even remember where we were. Where were you? It was still too tough. No. <laughs> I was saying that no, we just said that oh, yeah, for each each of these shield, then I should keep them. Then. Well, yeah, but next turn, yeah. Okay, so you were finishing your turn. Yeah, that's I'm what you're doing. Okay, I forgot where we were. Uh, if only you had the shirtless Star Lord card. It's the key to his set. Oh yeah, the one that we got discarded, the one that got KO'd. Yeah, uh, you may discard an artifact you control to get plus one. So yeah, so you get him to go with those. So then you can discard them and bring them back to reactivate them each time. So that's how you get rid of the the artifacts. Mm. Gotcha. All right. I've got tons of recruit and nothing to do with it. I'm all dressed up and nowhere to go. Hey, we got a bystander. Which isn't like Black Widow, so who cares? Um, so yeah. So I got all of this wonderful recruit, and dual knives does absolutely nothing for me. So I have three, five, six, seven. So, trigger card. First time you play this, draw a card. Okay. And I don't have any attack to find out what that is, so I guess I'll do this one. Triggered artifact. The first time you play this artifact, each turn, including this one, get plus one. See, that's where it was confusing because it was saying and play this, including this one. It made me think you kept playing that artifact like a normal card, not leaving it out. It makes sense to leave it out because that's what the rules say to do. But my brain was not going that way. All right, two, three, four. Oh, I... oh, you, you got a bystander. That means that the if there are two... that's the special. That's that's the special card I made. So this is a not a real card. This is a card I made. It's based off of I think Mirage from the X Men set. So it's got the same ability. The only thing it doesn't have is the three calls because I couldn't figure out how to do that when I made this real quick. I so... wanted to. 
I wanted a thematic card. So these are the uh, Xandar civilians. Who captures it? The same guy or the next guy? Who captures the civilian? Villain deck is a bystander. The innocent bystander captured by a villain. Put the bystander under the villain in the city that's closest to the villain deck. Oh, okay, so it's always the closest to the villain deck. So he now has two bystanders. Okay. Same. So he just gets a whole bunch of bystanders. All right. So... You have one attack. You're going to have to flip something over. What do you have for recruit? One... Five. Five and one attack. So hopefully whatever you flip over has a five. That's a four. four. That'll work. Now you didn't draw any cards this turn. Mm -mm. And you didn't play any artifacts this turn. Mm -mm. Okay. So I guess you're taking them. Let's see. What do I do? Drag successive violence. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is fist or brain, I don't know. Draw it. Green or yellow? Yeah, green or yellow. We just go by the colors. Green or yellow. And a runny redder. If there is no, if there are no villains in the city, you get plus one recruit. If there are no villains. Yeah, in that's the city. not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so he's good though. Drax is okay. Yeah, he is good. Drax, Drax is old. Why do I have four cards? Did I shuffle? I don't remember if I shuffled. We'll shuffle again. You can never shuffle too much. And, well, you Sometimes can only shuffle you too shuffle much. Too much and, you and, and then you unshuffle your shuffle. Yeah, I, I was about to say, you can't shuffle too much, but we've unshuffled our shuffle before. All right, so I'm at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, yeah. Chitari Chariot, rooftops again. All right, so Chitari is going to escape. He's going to get another weapon. That's that's we're not beating the, the bad guy. It's just not happening. We should almost probably call this. I just don't. I mean, what is he at hit? What is he at now? Two, three, seven, seven, 13, 13, 14, 20. 20. <laughs> this is very difficult. <laughs> 20. Or is that our luck? I think it's our bad luck. Everything we've got is increasing their hit points. Everything that's out here is increasing their hit points. So none of them are at their base level. He's at six because there's somebody in the rooftops, right? He's at eight because he's commanding himself and he's got a weapon. This one's at eight because same thing. He's that plus there's somebody in the rooftops. And then this one is same thing. He's got rooftops. Okay. Worth another try sometime. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll see what we'll see how far it gets before it's 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 stupid. It's getting stupid. We'll go through we'll go through the motion so we can learn what we're doing. Turn? No, I drew my bad guy. My turn. Oh, that was your bad guy. Yeah. Uh, triggered artifact. First time you play an artifact each turn, including this one, I get plus one attack. Um, I can promote, but I don't think there's really a reason for me to promote it anymore. I kind of need to start KOing these. So I get one attack. There's my one attack. I have two, four, six, seven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm one short. All right. Mm -mm -mm. I guess I'll, I can do Groot. Uh, triggered artifact, whenever you use excessive violence, draw a card. That actually would work better with you because you got all the, you get the extra damage. So, and healing, I can't even heal because I don't have any wounds. Wow, I don't, I don't, there's nothing I can do. I guess, I'm, I guess that's it. I don't want another, I don't want another officer. So that was it. I did all that to reveal a rocket. <laughs> I always get the Chaturi. The all right, so this is the Chitari soldier, uh rooftop conqueror again. So he leaves. 
Uh, escape, same effect. So his escape, each player with no bystanders in their victory pile gains a wound. <laughs> Gracias. Mm -hmm. Do we put it in the discard pile? And this weapon goes here. Now he's up to 24. Ah, yeah, it goes into our discard pile. Gain goes into the discard pile. <laughs> All right. Hey, but at least we have guys that are slightly weaker. Only slightly. So if you draw at least two cards, no, I have not. I have one attack, which is going to be to flip this person. <gasps> well, what are you using, him? What are you using him for? Oh, I'm using this for... I need to use him for this, so I get him. So it gives you three. You don't get... You don't get the plus because you didn't play that on your turn. Oh, so this you get three would be added to plus so six. six. Well, I can still. Get yeah, three. you can still get. Yeah, you can still get Nick Fury. So. But I mean, do you want to get him, or would you rather this here, which works with your, allows you to draw cards, one. which then works with your. But I, I don't have enough to play excessive violences. Never ever. <laughs> I can't. Well, no, right now you have three. You would have eight if you did more. Well, you, oh, you don't have enough that, recruit. What's that it's called? Violence. It's violence. attack. This one is the one attack. Oh, yeah. So you have, yeah, so you have six. So you would, you would have, nine. so this would be an example of excessive violence, right? You have six. So you could have up four. to nine. No, but. It's whether, I... yeah, it's whether you want to recruit him or whether you want to attack. So my ex here is six, so I, it's, it's six. violent against... So you could get rid of him, he's six. You get rid of him, he's five. Um, can't get rid of him. Can't get rid of him. You can get rid of him, which gives you bystanders. Technically, you get rid of... Mm, you get rid of two, if you had six. You get rid of this one and that one, if you have six. That would actually work because look, that'll give you plus one recruit too. So then you won't have to use this recruit. You can use this three. So that would mm. give you nine. Yeah. Well, if you defeat him, so I give you three, and then you'd have you'd still have six left, or you can do excessive violence. So you know, do we have a six? What was what was it six? Oh yeah, this was six. So yeah, you can get rid of these two if you do that, and you get your plus one recruit for that to get rocket. So you beat up this guy, Team. right? So we got that. And you get both of these. And because this, when you rescue this bystander, rescue another bystander. Whoa. So it's just another generic bystander. So in case you guys didn't know, that this is Peter Quill's great grandma. Uh, the same actress played both his mom and the girl that asked for Captain America's signature. So we're, we're thematically, we're saying it was her great, her great grandma. Although those don't really do anything, but they go into your victory pile. I got rid of him, and then you get rid of him, and then you have four recruit, right? That's what we said, four recruit. Yeah. Which gives you rocket. Check him. So now I need to use one, one to draw a card. I need to use one attack more, more than when I want to When attack. you use it. So basically when you use this excessive violence, or if you get another card with excessive violence, then it triggers that. Yep. And then that trigger then triggers that. I want to kill him. I would like to kill him too, but we need to get up to 24 attack, I think, now. Uh, if you clear the space that's using Conqueror. Oh, if we got rid of Rooftops. Yeah, so we got rid of Rooftops. So then that made this guy weaker, which means he wasn't actually six. He was only four. So you actually had two. Oh, so you actually did excessive violence. Um, so that meant that would allow you to draw a card and choose to KO the card. Is that card you would have drawn yeah, yeah you wouldn't want to KO, and you wouldn't want to KO that so forget it worked out it. the same forget forget about it <laughs> forget about it one two three four five six yeah six all right we have taser face uh taser face gets plus two while he commands the ravagers ambush swap taser face with the leftmost ravager in the city uh which would be jeff hello jeff jeff the ravager 
So Jeff is no longer in the lead. So he's finally weak enough where we can probably beat him now. Uh, ambush, we already did that. Uh, if Taserface is commanding, then we get plus two. All right. So what do I got? Attack A, attack A. Attack A. Ooh, I get my plus one attack A. Oh, oh see, same thing here. This is an artifact and I keep playing it. Like that should have already been in play. So, oh, I see. All right. So that should have already been in play from the is last time the I played knives it. The Definitely learning curves. Lost. Learning curve. Because I've been putting that back into my hand every single time. Same thing. All right. So I'll play this as an artifact. Mm -hmm. uh, first time you play this uh, during your turn or with another artifact, draw a card. Nick Fury, which I don't want. All right. So I have four recruit. I have three attack. I can do four attack. Uh, first time you play another artifact. Oh, I get plus one attack. So I do have plus one attack because of this. Drink. Um, whenever you play another yellow card, which I did, I get plus one attack. Cool. Um, and that I just played to draw the card. Okay, so now I have two, three, four, five attack. I need six to beat him up. So I'm going to go ahead and play Rocket to get my six. So that finally beats this guy up. He's been out here forever. Uh, fight. If Geff was commanding, he wasn't, so I don't get to draw a card. But I do get my villainous weapon. Uh, whenever you play a card that costs six or more, I get plus one attack. I don't want my Nick Fury. He can go away. I did not do excessive violence. I have four recruit. I don't want Nick Fury. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Um, I have two of them in my deck already, and I've kind of upgraded as much as I care to, I think. I want him. I don't know. I mean, if I'm not KOing anything, does it really matter if I pull out the two or the one? I guess it doesn't. So I'll go ahead and do the Nick Fury. Why not? Upgrade that again. Yeah, we'll just do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much recruit, it's crazy. Yeah, so he was saying make sure we keep the rooftop clear to get rid of the Chitari, because the Chitari were causing problems. Scheme twist. Scheme twist. So we are, that is our third scheme twist. So you need to spin three attack, which you have. So that means you lose all your attack A for this turn. All right. Well, that was, that was a great, great thing. And then I cannot do, Four. I cannot do excessive kindness. No, you, you can recruit you. <laughs> that'll, st that'll at least let you start upgrading your shield, guys. All, all mine are pretty much, oops. dang it, I did it again. You did it. Oops, too. I did it. And again. now it is. I played with my gun. heart. You played with your heart. Oh, did you draw a bad guy before you went? Yeah, you got the scheme twist. Scheme twist. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, ah, ah. That's the count. Scheme twist. Yay. How many scheme twists is that? That's four, isn't it? That's what we think. We'll count what's underneath of it. Of here? The scheme twists. Skin twist is here. <gasps> this is number five. So oh, no, I had to do what? One, one, two, three, four. This five. Is five. Oh, so I oh, you needed do... you needed five attack. You didn't have five attack. So you get your three attack back. We gotta rewind a little bit. So technically, you had three attack. You would have been able to take this guy out. That's fine. You would have just been able to take him out. Uh, fight. Um. Chitari Soldier captures a bystander. But we just knocked him out. Oh, he captures a bystander when you fight him, which means then you just get the bystander. Because he captures But so bystander. what about these? That's fine. We, I, just I, leave it there in the discord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed that. So now you gained a wound. Because you couldn't do it. These all get flipped over. And he goes underneath. No, what those, did you... Those are yours. What, what is... I'm fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. You're good. Your turn's done. I'm finishing no, your turn. No, but the now. other deck here. It's it's right here. We're good. Oh. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So now I need to spin. So that's what six. One, two, three, four. No, mine's five. five. Yours is four. Same thing. I need to spin five attack. Do I have? Will I have five attack? Uh, reveal your hand. You get plus one for each different card name in your hand. So, play that. Reveal my hand. I have one, two, three, four, 
five card names in my hand. So I have five attack, so that is enough to prevent that. So there went my entire We, we Are Groot. All right, so now, um, I guess I'm gonna use my plus one and hope. Oh, oh no, I got three attack. I got three attack, three recruit. Um, we need to get up to what, 24? Is he a 24? I think he's a 24. I didn't play any red, so that doesn't do me any good. I, I didn't play any yellow, so really it's, do I want one extra attack or one extra recruit? I can't attack anybody, so let me do these first before I play this. Oh, so that gives me five. I've only got three. That's six. I've only got three. So, oh, nothing. Well, there are some twos. I can either have four recruit, which doesn't do anything, or I can have three recruit. All right, I'll use, I'll use the attack. And that's an eight. Well, at least it opened up for you. So now you know what everything is. Alish. Uh, he gets a... Oh, he got a... He should have had a bystander when he entered the city, not when you fight them. Oh, uh, well, that's... That's badly worded, then. Because it says, fight, he captures a bystander. So... Yeah. yeah, it doesn't say ambush, he captures a bystander. Yeah, that's badly worded. Either way, the, 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 the net result's the same. Whoever beats it up gets a bystander. So. All right. Villain. One, two, three, four, five. At least we've cleared the city. We finally are able to clear the city. Exelon attendance. Exelon attendance gets plus two while another villain is commanding. Well, there is another villain commanding. Commanding the followers of Ronan. Oh, no, that's not happening. Ambush reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is a villain, it enters an empty city space. All right, so, so he comes in here. Um, he gets plus one while another villain is commanding the followers. There is no commander of the followers. Mm -hmm. uh, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain, it enters the city in an empty city space. Okay, so it was, so it entered the empty city space. All right. We have... Nothing. Well, you get to choose what you want to do with this one. So, then I do attack. So you get two attack. Well, when you got two, three, five. four, five, which would let you get this one, which is if you have at least five different card names, you get plus two recruit or just a straight three recruit, three recruit, three attack. I was going to say recruit, but I was saying attack, so I was recruit. <laughs> so recruit you, and cards names, card names. What is card names? Card Different names, yeah. So cards? one card name, two card uh, name, three card name, four card of, name. But of course they have It's more like that other one that I just did. That's why you want a lot of these divided cards, because then they it, it works I off think them. I have. So if you don't want to do him, if you did two, three, four, five, six, seven, the no villains, which isn't. So you have seven. You could do this one, which is... Excessive violence, reveal the top card of your deck. You can K oh, this is one you already have. Um, or you get plus three recruit. I think that's better than that one. So I'm spending So Yeah, but then you can use your two attack, like you said. Well, use your two attack. Because you know you like this one. So you can use your two attack. And then you can choose if you still like that one the most. Yes. So how much did you have? Cinco. Five. Well, let's hear. Uh, this is a artifact. So like my blaster. First time you play an artifact each turn, you get plus one attack. This one is rocket. If you play another blue, you get plus one attack. Uh, if you play a black, you get to KO card from your hand or discard. Mm. Okay. All right. Whoosh. Oh, there's an errata for it, um, so not my fault. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's the only problem with games with erratas, right, where they fix that. And that's like, if somebody, like, I didn't know when I first started the hobby about going out and, like, looking up a rule book after a rule book has already been printed. You're like, oh, that's the rule book. That's what it is. Um, but unfortunately, that's not always the case. All right, so Nebula. Nebula gets plus two when she commands the followers. Ambush. 
Nebula captures a villainous weapon from another villain in the city or captures an artifact from a player's control as a villainous weapon. If it doesn't already give villainous weapon bonus, it gets plus two. So she's going to capture this weapon, which technically is nice because that makes him easier to kill. And she's going to bring this weapon way down here. Yeah. So Nebula wasn't too bad. Yeah, Nebula wasn't too bad. Well, we need to defeat this one to win the game. Four times. But luckily, we defeat him the first time. Oh, he loses all those weapons. We get them all. Whoever beats him the first time is going to be like unstoppable because that's a lot of weapons. But I don't know. I saw Bagel do it in one of his. He had like 27 points of damage one time. Don't know how he did it, but he had gotten up to 27 points of damage. Just comboing the cards. But four times we have not even... No, 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 no. He's normally only six. He's only at 24 because he's got all those weapons plus the spaceships that he made. Uh, so here we go. So I played my artifact. First time you play this artifact, uh, I get plus one to recruit. Uh, the first time you play an artifact during your turn, you get to draw a card. Uh, when you play another, that's not that. First time you play an artifact, you get plus one. Quick. All right. So don't, 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 don't. All right, so I'm up to three, four. All right, so I have four attack. I have two, three, four recruit. Nope, oh, five recruit. The only thing really is this one here. So I'll do the rocket and Groot, and then I have four attack. I could have done five attack but it wouldn't I, I, if i defeated him i'd get that we do need to get rid of the rooftops right because i can't this chitari is too strong because he's in the rooftops he gets plus two if he commands ravagers which means he's six there's no bonus for beating him if i beat her She's not commanding because he's a follower of Ronin, so she doesn't get that plus two, but she's at seven. Okay, I can't beat it. So really the only thing I can beat up is the henchman or the Ronin. This prevents her from leading it. I don't know if there's anything that would make her switch positions to where she would lead. Oh, but this is keeping her from leading right now by having him out. So it's better to keep him because then she doesn't get another plus two. So yeah, so I'm going to get rid of him. Gives him plus one. That doesn't do anything is Siaka Ball. Siaka Ball Nomas. Uh, use a custom reskin um, that fixed there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be probably the easiest thing for me to do is, yeah, is to reprint it. Now, I wonder if it's like that in the core game that those replaced. Or no, you said Chitari was new. It's not in the core game. What? Or the ability is not. What was it? Um, all right, so it is Yandu. Yandu gets plus two if he commands. He doesn't. Um, but he does have Ambush. Ambush. Uh, swap Yandu with the leftmost Ravager in the city. It should be Taserface. So now he does command. That makes Taserface weaker. Uh, fight. If Yandu was commanding, uh, you get to KO two of your heroes. We're back to full again. We need to we need to get rid of these guys. I also need to get naked. Now I need the get naked card because I got way too many you artifacts. You need to get naked? See, I need the get naked card because now I have all these artifacts and I need to bring them back into my hand so I can play them again. I haven't even gotten my new artifact yet. If you drew at least two cards, you get two, but I don't. I did well, no, not. you want to play that first. See, pero this is one card. Maybe this is not draw another card. Mm. Well, no, this is you played this as an artifact. Oh, no. No, it's not an artifact. No, it's that not an artifact. No. That no. is. No, it, it says her blades and she's sharpening her so blades. So it's, it's not an artifact blades. when it says this, right? Yeah, so Trigger whenever you artifact. whenever you draw a card during your turn, you get plus one. So you do get your plus one because you drew a card. Okay. Uh, You get plus one for each other. Shield. shield so you have three three all right so now you got so three five yeah 
eight, mm -hmm. nine. nine. And a wound. And a wound. So you have nine, nine, nine attack. Nine. What do I do with nine? Um, this would get you a weapon. Because this is seven. That would get you a weapon. Um, and you could do excessive. Do you have an excessive violence card? No. <laughs> of course, when you can have excessive violence, you don't have your card. So this would get this would get you a weapon, though. I'd get you an artifact. Um, this guy is five. He is seven. He is just three. And then he is just four. So seven. It is a seven. Nebula seven. It's not doesn't have anything else. She's not commanding. She's okay. not commanding the followers because that's why I left him in because he's physically ahead of her. So she's not commanding. If I would have gotten him, then she would have been commanding. So she's only seven. Now by beating her, um, there's no fight effect, but the artifact. Whenever you play a black card, you get plus one attack. Do you even have any black cards? Black cards. I don't think we've even we've even like this one. Oh, here you go. Tech cards. So you have one, two. Yeah, you got a couple tech cards. So that weapon would be okay. Yeah, that's a tech card too. I don't. I don't think it really matters which one we we defeat technically. I mean, the rooftops are bad when the Chitari are out, but we've gotten rid of all the Chitari. Now keep put the weapon. You gain the weapon, so this goes into your discard. There you go. Uh, I haven't been paying attention. I hope you've been activating all your artifacts each turn you play one. Yeah, that we, we're starting to figure that out. That, that Luckily, I brought my we dice learned. out, so we put them on. Now that we've got the... That, honestly, I bet you... Oh, did I count this? Yeah. I bet you we were slightly behind because of not playing our artifacts. Like, how many cards could you have drawn? Yeah. Right? So we were playing wrong. Mm-hmm. We are playing wrong. Always playing wrong. So you have how much you recruit? Four. Four? No, those are attacks. Four. Oh, oh, Gamora. Yeah. So you have Star Lord, which is the same as mine, gets you plus one. Or Star Lord. You have Star Lord or Star Lord. Big one. I do much wrong. Uh, I'm thinking, you, you said you found that guy, right? I found him. One, two, three. Oh, the attack? The attack. Where'd the attack guy go? One, two, three. That. Oh, because you had him with him. Yeah, so you actually had three. You had five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, and you nine. Okay, so. Did, I attacked for seven. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You had ten, so you did have one more, so you can uncover one. That's what I was thinking. I, I think you had one more. Uh, All right, so now your choice is, would you rather have him or, or the Gamora? If you control an artifact, draw a card, and this is what? The first time you play an artifact, including this one, you get plus one attack. But I don't get the first time you play it. Just so when, when you put it down. It mm -hmm. here, well, this one that will be better. Yeah. All right. So we'll just switch those two. Yeah, because we we messed up, and you should have had, been able to uncover one card first before you bought your cards. All right. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. Exelon monks. Exelon monks get plus two while another villain is commanding the followers of Ronin. Uh, which currently nobody is commanding the followers of Roland, so that is good. So he does not get plus two. Uh, we get to KO one of your heroes, which is always good. Uh, the artifacts would have helped you earlier. Yeah, that's what we figured. All right, so I get attack equal to the number of names. One, two, three. Wow, that was not a great attack, so I get three attack. We are a group. All right. So this allows me to KO one of my shield. Do I have another one here? Yeah. KO one of my shield to get another commander. Really need to start KOing things out of my deck. I don't think I had another one in there. Nope. All right. Nope. 
All right, uh, weapon. Uh, triggered effect, whenever you play a card that costs six or more, you get plus one. Um, so technically, to keep the three attack, I would have had to have this in my hand. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, so four recruit, three attack. All right, so that works, I think. All right. Um, uh, whenever you first time you play an art attack this turn, get plus one attack. Uh, whenever you play another one of those, which we didn't. Oh, yeah, I did right here. So I get plus one attack. Uh, first time you play an artifact, which I did, I get to draw a card. Gracias. Uh, the first time you play an artifact is turned, get to plus one recruit. Okay. So you go there. You guys go there. Hmm. All right. So I have three, four, five attack. I have two, four, six, seven recruit. And he's six, which is kind of cool. All right. So. So what what are the basically I want to look at the fight effects because that's that's probably the most important. So he's seven, I can't do him. He doesn't give me a fight effect. Taste effects was commanding the ravagers, which he is not, so you don't get that benefit. The guy in the sewers is only worth three, and I get to KO a hero. And I don't have excessive violence. And then he's five, but there's no benefit. If I had six, it'd be better. But I don't. I don't think I misdid that math. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And even playing this in a different order, like if I would have played this before this. That would have given me one attack. Having it in my hand gave me one attack, so it was kind of a, it's a wash. It's the same amount. Mm. All right, I think I'll just do him for three. Then I'll KO one of these Nick Furies. Um, so I have two left. I can't I can't do anything for two, but I can do these. So I'll flip these over. All right. And then I have two, four, six, seven recruit. What's this? Give Star Lord two. You may discard an artifact artifact you control to get plus one. Oh, that that that'll help me get these artifacts out of here. Reveal uh the top card of your deck. If it is an artifact, draw it. Excessive Violence, reveal the top card of your deck and KO it. Uh, I get plus one if you played another yellow. I was, I'm was one short again from getting my Star-Lord card. So, I don't know. I got seven, so... Let's do this, do this, we'll do that, that. I think that's what I'll do. Because it gives us more cards out here. And, and, right? Do that or no? But I don't think we're progressing. Uh, Austin, the villainous weapon will trigger them too. Uh, the artifacts would have helped me. So, Korath. What's Korath the one? He gets plus two when he commands, but he does he go here? He goes to the first one, unless his ambush tells him to go oh, ambush. ambush. Each player may draw a card for each player that did reveal a card from the villain deck. Play a followers of Ronan card from among the cards you revealed this way. Put the rest back in any order. So what it does is it, if we get a follower of Ronan, then it puts them into play, which then makes him command. 
but for each one we did, it's going to move it. So we would end up costing ourselves two KOs by doing that if we say both decided to draw one more card. So really it's whether or not we can do anything with the cards we have or whether we would benefit from drawing another card. So I, well, I, I, I could draw two cards. I don't know what to do, I really don't. It, well, it allows us to draw a card. To draw one card. So we basically, yeah, we basically draw one. If we draw one card, we reveal one card here. If it's a follower of Ronin, it goes into play. If it's not, it just gets shuffled back in. I don't think I, we're, we're so far where we are now. We, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to draw a card. So you can go ahead and draw a card. So shuffle, shuffle. And I drew a card. So mine is not a follower of Ronin. And then you draw a card. Yours is a Master Strike, which is not a follower of Ronin. So nothing happens. Oops. It said put the others back in any order. Yeah. Um, so we know Master Strike's coming up. So Master Strike. Ooh, we haven't had a Master Strike in a while. What does the Master Strike do again? I need him. Come here, you. Uh, each player discards a card at random, and then he captures it. So we discard a card at random. All right. right um, well, the question is, do I want to discard a card at random on my turn? Um, yeah, I'm good with that. I'll discard a card at random. So we'll put the Master Strike first, and then the Chitauri that I drew there. I'm fine with discarding a card at random. That's what's going to happen to me. Although it makes him stronger, but... What are we going to do about that? There you go. Okay. Do I don't know what to do. This one says okay. to draw If you draw control a an artifact, you do. Do I have to discard a card? Mm -mm. No, this is because just... Because of the whatever... The, that one that mm -mm. you drew, no? No. Nope. Okay. Draw a card. Yep. But mm -hmm. I also have this one. Well, no. You do this one first. Okay. I so you drew a one. card, and then that gives you plus one there, right? But whenever you draw a card, you see. That's one. Right. And then to play this, you must put a card on the bottom, bottom of your deck, deck. to so draw card, two. Yeah, so a card that you don't want. So I thought I was thinking this one because I don't have, I mean, I have only three attacks. But you're going to draw. Is, but you're going to draw two. Your best bet is to get rid of so, your ones. Bottom. And then draw oh, that's two. My deck. <laughs> that's my deck now. Yeah, and then draw two. <laughs> mm, I have okay. it here. Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you draw at least two cards this turn, you get plus two. I did. You did. So plus two. So that was that is seven. Seven. And if we play excessive violence. Which we don't know if you're going to or not. But yet. that is three. Well, so, okay, you're doing that, not the recruit. Okay. Yeah. So that is what? Five, Ten. six, seven, eight. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Now, if I do excessive violence, I can't draw a card. So that means I have to recruit somebody with. No, excessive violence means you need to kill Attack. somebody with more than what. One more than what you have. So he is going to be. He's not commanding because this guy's still in play, which is good that this guy's here because he prevents all these. So he's only got four. He's got... Can I can I attack many? Four. Yeah. So you can excessive violence as many times you want. Every time you excessive violence, you get to draw a card. Because this, this is an artifact. So you play that artifact. First time you play an artifact, draw a card. So you just played an artifact. Right? And these are just your. Whenever, all... Oh, did I do this? Yeah, we already did that. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you do your success, it was this. Yeah, but yeah, those are all just recruit. Okay. That's more recruit. So you have lots of recruit. Okay. So, yes. So each time that you do excessive violence, you're going to get to draw a card. So if you were to beat up the lowest guys with five, 
then you get to draw a card for him excessive violence and for him excessive violence. Or you could do him, which is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So you could do that, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You got 12. So you'd only be able to do excessive violence on one guy if you did these two. Um, if you did him, one of the other guys, you could, do, you could do excessive violence on two guys or excessive violence on one guy, it's your choice. Two guys lets you draw two cards. Then two guys. All right. I don't know. So fight when you fight him, we have to reveal these cards again. So I, I don't know if we'd want to do that. Uh, fight him, you get plus two more recruit. Okay. I don't think you need two more recruit. You're already going to be able to get Star Lord. Um, he keeps him at bay. That's the only problem with getting rid of him. He's keeping him at bay. Um, this would be five, so you'd have to spend six here to get rid of him. So say you did six there. That gives you six more, and that gives you an excessive violence. And then I guess Taser, yeah, I guess Taser Face is what you're going to have to do. Because he's the only other one that the, the fight thing isn't a bad thing. Well, no, you can do this. Do this first. Do him first. Yeah. So you do six. So you get rid of six, right? Mm -hmm. So that gets rid of your six. And then you get to draw a card because you're excessive violence. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, six for your excessive violence. Another recruit. All right, so you have three, four, five. So you have another six. Um, so you can't beat up him. You can beat up him. You can beat up him, which makes us have to do this thing again. Oh, well, we know what these two cards are. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, beat up him because we know what these two cards are. Okay. That works. All right. So you beat up him. I forgot about that. So you beat up him. We, You get to draw a card. I get to draw a card. Another attack. This is fine. So that was six to beat up him, right? Four, five, six. Yeah, no, five. Six? Oh, yeah, because he wasn't commanding. Yeah, so five, you're right. Because he wasn't commanding. So now you still have two more. So you'd be able to flip those over. And you get to draw a card. Which you did. I did. And then so, we already know what these are, so there's no point in looking at them. Because it's the same thing from the last turn. It's the Master Strike and the Soldiers. Oh, I didn't remember that. Yep. So, pack two. those. Yep. Well, I need... All right, so you got rid of all that. And you got that. All right, so you have a lot of recruit. Holy cow, that was a, that was a big turn. You still weren't the 24 yes. that we needed to do him, though. That was, what was that, 12? See, so I we, I need to attack all of these people. We're never going to attack I them. don't I don't think we are. I do believe we're probably going to hit the scheme, the eighth scheme twist before we ever get a chance to beat him. Well, the Master Strike's coming out, too, so. So, what, I'm going to just see what he does. The first time you play an artifact each turn... You get plus three attack. We need, we need, we need, uh, we need shirtless, shirtless, uh, Peter Quill, though. Um, this is your recruit one. This is, oh, that's one like you've already got, which gives you excess and violence. Yeah, but like, attack. Um, that that's another artifact, it gives you plus one. Not this one? Yeah, that's fine. See this one. So So that's eight. Well I have two left. Two four yeah, so eight. Yeah, so you have two left. Nothing is Nothing's two. Nothing's two. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so we know mine's gonna be a master strike. Cause it's a master strike. Get some another plus one. Um and then I have to get rid of a card randomly from my hand. Okay, okay, master strike. Twink, 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 twink. The AC kick off again. They did. Okay. The air conditioner, the AC. Feels, feels like it. It's is hot? It. 
Yeah, it feels like it. Mis piernas están muy frías. So, Florida is not going to be good for, for, for me, is what you're saying. We should not move to Florida. We're going to move to Florida. The AC is going to be on all day and I'm going to be cold <laughs> all day. All right. So, um, excessive violence. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Discard any number of them. Put them back in any order. Um... It is in 73. But it's not running. It's no blue. It's because no, it's, it's it's because it's it cooler. Was... It's because it's cooler outside than it is inside. Do I put 72? Yeah. Till it kicks on. Yeah. Mm. Wow, I don't have much attack at all. Oh, well, I do get this, so I do play that, so I do get plus one. Mm, artifact, okay, whenever you play a card of six or more, none of my cards are six or more. So a uh, max attack I could have would be two, three, four, five, six. So I could do six and I would get or six with excessive violence if I want. All right, so we don't have any more followers of Ronin, so we can actually get rid of this guy now. Okay, so he's three. So that's this. That's already three. And if I do this for attack, that's my that's my excessive violence. So that's four. So I do excessive violence on him. And then that allows me to draw a card. Which gives me another attack, uh, which I'll use here. And I'll play this for the recruit. Allows me to draw a card. Another group. I uh, also did an excessive violence here. Look at the top two cards of your deck, which I should have done before I drew. Now, ah, well, it's no big deal. Um, so I have two, four, six, seven, eight, eight recruit, and I can't get Star Lord anymore. <laughs> So that's the same one I've got. I don't like these. I play this card from your hand to the bottom. Of your, I'll put a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. Draw two cards. She actually that actually works really good for you when you do it. So if I do that, that's two, and it leaves me four more. You do that. I'll get another weapon. I don't have any high number cards as a problem, so this isn't activating because I don't have anything. I don't have any sixes and sevens high number cards to play. All right, two villain. That deck, that villain deck's getting very, very low. Chitari. Chitari. So he just goes into the sewers, um, and rooftops is vacant, so he does not get the extra hit points. All right, come on, twenty-four attack in one turn. <laughs> No attack. Need a lot of draw support is the thing. Like you would need, you would need like ten or fifteen, and then draw two cards. Draw two, like just keep drawing cards. So I could do three, four, five. Well, hang on. Your if you control a card draw. Hmm? Yay! Yay! Yay for a wound. Um, this is my went to Tampa for a wedding once uh, in August. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be fun, but that's that's where we're moving. We're moving to Florida. Uh, our family's down in Homosassa, and then we're going to move down um, north of Miami, about an hour north of Miami, um, Port St. Lucie. Which means our streams are going to be very weird for the next couple weeks or months. <laughs> Cinco. Ataque. So you have five attack. If I am using this. Yeah. If you don't use your Because crew. this is if I have five names. One, two, three, oh, four, in... five, six. 
I didn't get this one. I mean, yep. this one. Yep. Well, I don't know what is better. No, better to attack. Well, I mean, five attack. He is seven. He is four. He is three. Then I attack the four. I attack the four. Okay. Uh, if Taser Face was commanding, which it wasn't, so you don't get the bonus. George. Kind then kind it means that you spend more to recruit than you have. Oh, see, I have. So five and you buy the four or the two, and you get excessive kindness. And I rescue bystander. Yep. Which is just a regular bystander. Nothing special about that bystander. Just a normal bystander. I'm sorry, that is Peter Quill's great grandma. We we don't want to say there's nothing special. Without her, it's we would not have a Peter Quill. It's muy especial. All right. Um, you go to the bank. Um, follows a Ronin. It's a car and mercenaries. It's a car and mercenaries get plus two while another villain is commanding. Uh, there's no other Ronins, so no. Ambush. If another villain is commanding the followers, each player gets a wound. There is nobody commanding. So that does not happen. All right. So for my attack, eh? so we are Groot uh, because I played that, which is a seven. I get plus one. Yeah. Uh, and then I get plus one for each one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six attack there. Um, I play my. Targeted Artifact. I got two of these. Uh, so I played that. The first time I do that, I get one for that, one for that. So that's two. I played a green, so I get one there. Um, first time I played an artifact, which I just did, I get to draw a card. Um, first time you play that, you get to recruit one. There, I got dice everywhere. All right. So there's all my recruit. So you come here. That's my attack. More attack, more attack, more attack. Mucho attack. All right. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 24, 24. <laughs> 24. Um, so here, can I do excessive kindness? I can. Or excessive violence draw a card. I'm trying to see if I can get some extra cards drawn. This gives me plus two, but I need another blue. I did play a blue this turn. Okay, so I'm going to play Rocket because he gives me plus one because I played that blue card this turn. So now I'm at two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. 24, um, 24, 24. I can get up to 14. I can get up to 14. <laughs> wow, that's as close as we've gotten. So 14. Which basically will clear the city. And also I got these. All right, so we'll get rid of Yondu. So that is seven for Yondu. Uh, KO, if Yondu is commanding the Ravagers, KO two of your heroes. So I guess I'm getting rid of these two. Well, hang on, hang on. Do proper turn order. I don't want to beat him up yet. I want to recruit first. Let me do the math. I'm going to beat him up. So that leaves me with two, three... Four, five, six, seven. So if I spend excessive violence on him, that allows me to draw a card. Dang it. And this is just the first time. So technically I get to play it, which gives me plus one. So three, six, Seven. So I got another seven. Uh, 
So basically, I can get rid of this guy and this guy. All right, so I get rid of both those guys. That's all my attack. I'm going to recruit before I knock him out, though. Because four, six, which gives me this guy. And then I'm going to knock him out. Oh, yeah, he was supposed to capture a bystander earlier. That's fine. Um, so that recruits them. And then I get to knock out two. That was a very big turn. I need to get naked, though. Because I got all these weapons out here now, and I, need, I don't need them out here anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, safe travels and move. Thank you, Bagel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to we get our pod tomorrow. We're going to start loading up all next week. Uh, so no streams probably next week. I'll probably do a... Uh, I think I've got one video left from our Extra Life Game Day replay. So I'll probably upload that next week. You might get a Tuesday stream, if depending how good I am at packing. Talk. Talk. Talk? Talk. Talk. Uh, Polk gets plus two while he commands a Ravager's Ambush. Swap talk with the leftmost Ravager. There isn't any. So basically he's five. So, all right. So we need 20. Is, have we done math recently? Oh, I think it's more. more. Hang on. We got to figure this out. Let's figure this out. All right. We got to figure out what he's at now. These are each one. One, two, three, nine, 13. 14, 15, 19, 25. 20. Whoever beats him up, though, is going to get lots of artifacts. 25. 20. I don't do this one, I don't like him. I don't like him anymore either. Well, no, he's good. He gets rid of this. But you spend him for, from your discard pile. So basically, you do him to discard him. But I have another another one that gives me something per each shield. Don't yeah, you were, that? you, that's the upgrade one. He allows you to turn him into her. So you turn Phil Coulson into Maria Hill, which makes it better for recruiting. I uh... wish there was a... I wish there was like another shield agent card or shield officer card that did the exact opposite where you could turn your one attack into a two attack. See. You know, that'd be that'd be kind of cool. All right, so you used him. So you have all recruit basically. So Although, from, well, my, from my Yeah, but you're gonna have to use that to uncover oh, some stuff. See. Just two. Uh what's the what's the bonus? Excessive violence. Oh, which you're not the one. Okay. All right. So you have three recruit. You can get baby group. Well, or you could do this, which would at least give you the option of an attack. Oh, sorry, baby group. baby group. Also works with that other card you have with the extra names, right? Mm hmm. Okie dokie. All right, so same thing. I got, I got shield, and I don't have anybody to discard, so go away. Um, actually, I need to draw the villain before I decide to do that. So he moves over. Chitari ambush. If the rooftops are empty, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is villain, that villain enters the rooftops. That is not. It is a master strike. So we have another master strike coming up. Yay. Um, wow, that's that's bad. Wow, that's that's really bad. I think our decks have gotten too big now. They're too bloated with not enough. Like we haven't gotten enough KO. That was the problem. They, there's the this henchman gives us extra recruit. The other henchman gives you remember the KO where we kept, we could just keep KOing people out of our card. And Nick Fury is allowing us to KO, but it's to recruit. Um, yeah, you gain a shield officer. So there's no way to KO without gaining the shield officer. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use two, four, I got five. 
All right, so we're gonna use the one attack first to maybe see if I get a five. And there's a three, excessive violence, look at the top cards. I Here's mine, you can discard, but it's not KO. I wish it was KO. Uh, I wanna use the recruit. I don't want to use the attack. I think I'll use the attack. Oh, there we go. Whenever you use excessive violence, draw a card. I guess I'll have one too. All right. Back to you. Master Strike. So discard a card at random. Oh, each player discards a card. Oh, you're supposed to discard a card at random earlier, but you didn't. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Show my hand. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. I don't even know what any of my cards are, so it doesn't matter. I'll give it to this one. That was a spaceship. Yeah. And then he goes up by one. Is it 26? That could have been worse. No, my ghost. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You don't have to gain a Maria with the Fury card. Oh, uh, it says you have to. It says you may KO a shield hero from your hand or discard pile. It says if you do, you may. Oh, you may gain. Oh, I've been reading that wrong the whole time. It says you may gain an officer. So that is how we're supposed to be thinning our deck. We've been screwing, I've been screwing it up. We should be... You can use getting... it not to get another shield. Yeah, you can use it not to get another Maria Hill. It, it did say may. I just, I, I misread that twice. See, see we're getting... Twist. Oh, that's not good. What number are we on? Oh, those. Six. Six. So six is uh you need to spend six recruit. Do you have six recruit? No, you have two recruit. That's not happening. Alright, so at the end of your turn you're getting a wound and everybody is getting hidden again. Oh, but you do get a weapon to play. I don't know how to play it because it you says just, that you I just play need... it. It's a it's a oh, bonus it's weapon. Yeah, so you get artifact. Uh, whenever you play a Technician. tech card, you get plus one attack, um, which you know, this turn any. you didn't. Uh, but you did play that. Whenever you use, uh, whenever you, you know, the first there time you, you play draw an a card, artifact, draw. and then that does give you your plus one here. Mm -hmm. That did something. So this is plus one attack. Attack. Okay. Quatro. You get plus one attack for each other's shield, so you have one, two. Three. Oh, I had this one, but I discarded it. When did you discard him? Oh. oh, that was your random discard. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. So you have three, four attack. So basically, yeah, you have four total attack. And cuatro. Mm, excessive violence to collect of cards of your deck. Discard any number. Mm. Mm. Oh, damn. So he's five you can beat this guy up but it's do you want to reveal any cards too so technically you could beat this guy up with excessive violence which then allows you to draw another card but how oh because he's four mm -hmm. okay so it's either that or whether or not you want to do that so if you do that that's excessive violence so draw another card it gives you another recruit Think of. Look over the top two cards of the deck, discard any number of them and put them, put the rest back. It basically allows you to look at the two cards and see if they're going to help you on the next turn. So it's a good way to like put all the attack cards together. Like, oh, this is a recruit card. Discard that and keep the attack card. You know what I mean? I haven't used it yet, but could see that coming in handy. Uh, in between league and tournament business, uh, so I'm watching more intently now. 
All right, appreciate it. That's all right. We're, I mean, we're playing, but like, I don't think we're even going to be able to hit him once. I mean, he's at you know, 26. I'm out of it. I don't like any car. Again, you could do his excessive kindness, which I don't know, that just gives you a bystander. With excessive kindness, and that gives you a bystander. Up, oh, you good one. Nope. That's the benefit of if you have all the bystanders, because in the regular core box, there's a bunch of bystanders that have special abilities. So actually rescuing a bystander is a good thing, which is kind of weird why they have baby Groot rescuing bystanders when there's so few unique bystanders in the deck. Hmm. So it's like, I don't see how that's beneficial. Now he would work good with Black Widow though, right? Because Black Widow wants you to rescue bystanders. So actually Baby Groot would work real good with Black Widow. All right. So I have me cartas. Oh, wow. This is, this, that's horrible. This is where I needed to be KOing these and I didn't realize it. Oh, that's a bystander. Oh, well, yeah. Man, I messed that up. Yeah. Lots of things. All right. Um, so we got some Hydra pilots. So I have one attack. I guess we'll do this one. And I have six. Uh, no, this is artifacts. Card six or more, okay. So that was my attack. So I have two, four, six, eight. I have eight recruit. You get plus one for each other. Ooh, there we go. That's, that's a good one you liked. So that gives me that, and then I'll go ahead and I guess take the two as well, because then that gives me my full eight. Puts two more out here for you. All right. Back to you. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's the last one done. I saw it? the second one because I drew two. That's fine. All right. Hydra pilot. Hydra pilots. These are the easy guys. They're the only ones we've been able to beat so far most of the time. So uh, the regular core box actually doesn't have any. Yeah. So yeah, the regular core box doesn't have special. They added some to legendary for the Marvel Studios, mm -hmm. right? And then Cute. if you've got all the other stuff, which now I do, yeah. it comes with a bunch more. Now the problem people say though is because you've got so many regular bystanders already, and then so many special bystanders that you still aren't really diluting it enough. To where you have a chance of getting those, like, because now there's still there's so many that you'd go through. Make sure to refill immediately after a recruit in regular game. Yeah, because you may want to recruit what came out. Yeah, normally I do. You're right, but because of the up the upside down thing, I don't I haven't been seeing a need. So I did this, and I drew two cards. Okay. So I did this, which was discarding um, yeah. agent. And then I drew this, and drew this and this. Okay. And you can play him to KO, so it thins out your deck. Get rid of that. So you didn't have to actually recruit one. I, I was doing that earlier, which means I'm probably about three too many of that particular one. Now, it did let me do a good recruit that turn, but... No, I, I have... I mean, I know we don't have anything oh, here. You don't discard her, though, because she still gives you a recruit. Oh, that's right. So they both... Yeah, yeah. Um, so. So the question is. Attack first. Well, you have six recruit. So an eight six recruit, recruit, and you don't know what you can recruit. So you're kind of needing to attack down uh, here. Uh, because look, cinco. If you draw at least two cards, you get two. So that's yeah, yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But these guys aren't bothering us. You kind of want to uncover some of these. So yes, you could you could attack these guys. If he's commanding, you get to KO here. So actually taking him out would be fine. Because that would be five of your seven. And then you could spin the... Four. Or four. Four? four. No, six. Six. So seven. So that would be this. Oh, that seven? That would still leave you... Yeah. So, oh, five. I'm sorry. Five. And that would leave you three, which can get rid of one of these guys. So technically, without using this attack, you can get rid of these. And then you can use this three to uncover three cards. Why this for those two? That's for him. Tres. 
And then he is three plus two, five. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm going to uncover then three. So you uncover the three first. Oh, there's high technique fury. All right, so that was, right, so that was your, that three. Then you get rid of this guy. So he gives you plus one recruit. So you want to, before you attack this guy, you want to recruit because you're going to want to KO probably this or this, one of the two. So right now you have, what, two, four, six, eight, nine recruit. So Ocho, got big double drags. The, double the attack you have. <sighs> Excessive violence that you need him. That's what he was saying. We need, we need, we need Drax. Oh, and that'll go good if you can get him and Gamora at the same time. <sighs> that could be a good play. Okay, so that was eight of your nine, uh, and then you attack this guy here. Oh, I gave, I took your points, but I have done that. We don't count all points. Um, so now you can KO one of your heroes. So either the plus one attack or the two recruit. And I need the two recruit. Or well, you can get rid of one of the you can get rid of Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're gonna lose the game before we actually get to beat him because there's only four cards left. So definitely gonna lose before that happens. So we're just playing it out to play it out. So there's another master strike. That means we both discard a card at random. Uh, I'll do this one. Oh, that was my Drax. And then he gets one more hit point. I want to. I want to just see. Can you get? Can you get twenty-seven with that? With that other Drax cards? That's a great rare to help you. Yeah, it help. It would help if we if we have more than four turns. I don't think either he's gonna get to shuffle before we get through that. Two, three. Yeah, so here's my five. Wound. Yeah, that 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 basically ruined my turn. Uh, to, to play this, you must put one card on the bottom of your deck and draw two cards. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I don't have a deck anymore. So that becomes my deck because I don't have a deck? Or no, I guess I have to shuffle and make myself a deck because I'll have to draw two cards. This was not good. Mm -mm. Oh, including this one. So you get plus three attack. All right. So you play Weird Groot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. six. So I get six for Weird Groot. Uh, whenever you play something one or higher, you get one for that. Um, two recruit, that doesn't matter. So I'm at six, seven. All right, so I'm going to play um, take Yandu. Could have played a guardian. And I reveal the top card in my deck. If it's an artifact, draw it. It is not. Uh, I already played this card, uh, which actually makes that one less than it should be because she wouldn't have been in my hand anymore. Uh, passion, draw a card with excessive violence. Compassion, draw a card. So I'll do that. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. I don't need nine. That was way more than I needed. I should have played all the recruit stuff. All right, so I'm switching you to recruit. Um, already revealed the top card of my thing. So that's fine. I'm cheating, but that's fine. Um, I may discard an artifact I control to get plus one recruit. Mm. So I'll get rid of my rifle. All right. So I have six attack, which is this. Uh, which I get plus one recruit for him. And then nothing with excessive violence, unfortunately. So recruit, I have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Those, uh, which was the exact amount, so I don't get excessive kindness. Wink, wink, whoop, scheme twist. Uh, how many is that? Is that, is that, is that, the, is that seven? seven? That means one more scheme twist is in there. Okay. Uh, you need seven attack. If you do not have seven attack, then you're going to get a wound at the end of the turn. Um, Says. Yep. Yeah, okay. So I got... Well, attack doesn't do any good because there's nobody here, so attack's only going to allow you to reveal things. We finally got the city cleared out, though. City is finally cleared out. Oh, so you can use her. See, see, see. If there are no villains in the city, you get plus uh, discard one. artifact to circle it back around. Oh. Uh, wow, hang on. That's like a book. I gotta find it. Uh, great rare. Well, I don't know. Uh, because what if they are not good? Uh, they must be good. Sorry. Yeah, it becomes your deck, then you draw two. Uh, so the first card you draw is the one that you put on the bottom. No, that was the one I discarded from my hand. Or no, that was the one I was putting on the bottom. Then I would draw... Oh, I get what you mean. Okay. Because that becomes my deck. I put that on the bottom. So that's the first card I draw. Then shuffle. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, because it becomes the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. Such a big Demora card. Yeah, six. No, well, that's not your big card. Siete. No, I was saying the, the cost of six. Uh, I can draw at least two cards. All right, so you had seven, uh, but you didn't have any excessive kindness out there. No. No. Uh, did you play? Did you play a tech card? No. I wait. Excessive even... violence? No. Did you draw a card this turn? No. No. I had this one, but I already did. Oh, trigger artifact. This should have gone down here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So that would have gone here. Uh, first time you play an artifact, draw a card. So you get that. And that one. All right. And then uh, whenever you draw a card, you get plus one attack, which I guess you would attack this. So there you go. I think that's everything. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. I didn't even draw six cards yet. One, two, three, four, six. Um, and you get the plus three attack from itself. And you already counted that three attack, right? That's how you flip those three over. Those. Okay. That's what I thought. I thought you were, yeah, you did like we usually do. You just counted it for what it was and not for... All right. Um, so artifact, excessive violence. I uh, played an artifact. So I get plus one recruit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First time artifact, draw a card. Um, I did not play one of those. I get two attack there. Oops, lo siento. All right. <clears throat> All right, discard. I don't know why I'm worrying about thinning out my deck at this point in time, because it probably ain't gonna matter. Um, so I have six and two. Did I, draw, did I draw a card? No, I didn't draw a card. I started playing without drawing my villain. Scheme twist. Game over. I was going through all the motions of actually playing my cards. I hadn't even done the villain yet. The villain was the last scheme twist. What was the last thing? Oh, another pilots. There we go. That's the end of the game. That was rough. It was. That was rough. He just got too much on him too quick. Like, it was all villains. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just so many villains right off there at the bat that the whole thing filled up. And then they all got weapons. So they all took weapons. Like it would have been fine if it was a whole bunch of like Hydra pilots and guys without weapons. But as soon as they each got a weapon, it made it impossible for us to take any of them out too early. It was kind of like, it was like the first game we played with this set, I think, wasn't it? Where everything was just too strong at the very yeah. beginning. So we couldn't take anything out quick enough Maybe, before yeah. we started getting wounds and everything else. So. All right, so we're going to go ahead and flip over and give our first impressions of this expansion. All right, 
There we go. So I'll do these off to the side. So she's got a little bit, a little bit closer. We shouldn't be doing that. We're scratching up the floor. They're not our floors much longer. Oh, it does have socks. Our, our CJs have socks. CJs, tienes calcetines. <laughs> um, components. Uh, what do you think about? I guess in this sense, what do you think of the new the new art on the the cards? I like the new art. Is what, what do you think of my custom art? It's beautiful. That one. It's beautiful. Um, I like the art. The art's good. There was a couple couple graphics that aren't like great. There's one where because Drax is more green. And in some of them, he looks more blue. And I think that's the lighting, right? Because it, it is a screen grab. The only real complaint on the components is, like we noticed during the gameplay, the back of the cards are yeah. similar. Aren't, aren't, not only are they different color than the base game set, they're actually different color within themselves. We have one card that was a bluish purple on the back and another card that was more of just a blue color on the back. So that's the only gripe um, you would want to use if you're worried about that. You are going to want to use uh, opaque sleeves. We use cheap penny sleeves because there's way too many cards to be sleeving and paying for opaque sleeves. We don't play enough to where we're worried about them wearing out. Um, technically, we could just not sleeve and probably be fine the way we play. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's my only, my only complaint with the, the, the new components. Mine is, I don't know why I still want this to say artifact or show oh, the picture. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. The, like the... The... Yeah, because they use screen grabs, they instead of showing the weapons like the weapons do, they showed a picture of yeah, Star Lord for his helmet, which I get. Morat. That's why they do it, right? Um, so yeah. I think because of the way they make the cards, I get they're going to use whatever screen they can to screen capture. Because so, yeah. even this is a weapon, but they used Yondu on on this one. But I think you're right. If it said artifact at the top, maybe to help. Because at the beginning, like I. I, I was thinking it was always some yeah I was I know it's that. it says it in the rules and that's me misreading the rules that a triggered artifact Means is an artifact that. when when you get it and it does say triggered artifact on the card I I do think that they could have done dual knives drax dash artifact you're right that would something like help that, keep yeah. it clear but the problem is because this isn't the first set that's had artifacts and they never started doing that now oh, they that kind of can't that's it. that's what bagel top was mentioning is because they don't they didn't ever do it before. It's kind of hard to start doing it now, right? Uh, mechanics. Uh, what did you think about the new mechanics? I mean, mostly the mechanics for us is the new scheme and what the new cards the do. The flipping cards is... Upside down. This is nice, but it's difficult. I mean, it's different, but it's very difficult, very difficult. because you don't know who you're going to get and it if made you it really very, need them or not. It made it very hard to build the deck. And, and then it kept flipping. The and you, yeah, you had to use your attack to this. So even when we had a little bit of attack, the choice was... Flip, flip things over so we can at least recruit something or try to attack the one guy that might be out there that we could use three attack mm -hmm. on. At the beginning, it was fine because you have two attack. You couldn't do anything anyways. Yeah. But later <laughs> when it was like you had four attack, it's like, but nothing's flipped over. Do, do, I, do I flip over four cards so I can try to recruit something? Because I don't have enough attack to kill any of these. Yeah, it does yeah, make it more yeah. difficult. What about the, uh, the mastermind where he gets more powerful it was too powerful for me. He kept getting plus one, but but again, he wouldn't have been that powerful. So if he would have gotten all of his scheme twists, there's only five, right? So he would have only been 11 if he would have gotten all of his scheme twists. Okay. Right? He would have only been 11. Problem is he got, let's see, he got the uh, the the dark uh, Aster flagship. He got the scavenged blade. He got Yaka arrow and he got the orb. So like he just got so many weapons so quickly, it, it was just too too high for us to try to take out. I think it's unique though. It yeah. is one of those ones where That's you get nice. that extra thing, and then by defeating him, you get his actual um, weapon, which then prevents his discard action from happening. So where we were discarding by random, that would still happen, but at least we get to draw another card, um, and then his. On fight effects, we didn't get to see those. So this one here, fight, KO one of your heroes, rescue two bystanders. Ronin captures this card. As, so he gets it as a weapon every time we defeat him. So he kind of gets stronger as we beat him. But then when you defeat him again, then you get this back. So you kind of keep taking the weapons from him. Uh, KO your heroes, rescue two bystanders. He gets a villain's weapon. This is plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. 
I don't know if these are supposed to be in a certain order. Didn't say. I guess just random. Uh, but yeah, they all do the same thing. But yeah, he gets stronger as you beat him up. Well, the way I stacked it, he wouldn't have. He would have started out strong and gotten weaker. Because I didn't <laughs> shuffle him. So it was six, five, four, three would have been the order we would have done that in. I do. I like that mechanics. Um, the split cards are cool. I like the split cards because it gives uh, you yes. some decision. Uh, option, at least. Yeah. So it makes a little bit more varied of, of the decision, the options. Um, I really like some of the cards, like, like the Weird Groot, where it just adds all the different name cards in your hand. Um, once we knew to play these, these were fun. The artifacts were fun. Yes. Um, however, Helpful. we didn't get them back into our hand because we didn't have Naked Star Lord. We discarded one. And then where's the other Naked Star Lord? That's Naked Drax. Uh, Naked Star, Naked Drax. Where's Naked Star Lord? There's Naked Groot. There. There's Naked Star Lord. So there's one there. I thought there were three. I guess there's only two. When neither one of us got one. I guess it's only two Naked Star Lords. So that's the other thing is each of us in a two player game would have to get. Yeah, there's only one here. So it must be two. Um, each of us would have to get one to make it worthwhile so we can bring these cards back into our hand. So. Um, yeah, so that's the mechanics. Um, difficulty. Yeah, his tactics get shuffled. Yeah, we messed that up. <laughs> Welcome to our gameplays. We ever get it right. Uh, difficulty. This definitely <laughs> ramped up the difficulty compared to Red yeah. Skull, which we played. And even, even Ironmonger was difficult, but we lost quick. So we were able to play again. This one technically... As soon as he got to probably 15, I wouldn't even have said 15. I would have said almost as soon as he would have gotten to probably about 10 or 12. Well, yeah. We he started at six. I'd say as soon as he doubled and we in no turn were getting even six damage, <laughs> that probably should have been the reset point. And, and reshuffle. But then after target. right right after that this started moving. Like we started attacking. Once, yeah, we more. started feeling good because so. we started clearing out the city. <laughs> I'm still. But by that point. And then of course me messing up and not KOing these. I don't even want to I've got I made ten of these. I think all of them are in my deck right now. So I have ten officers in my deck right now. Or maybe eight. Either way. Yeah, it was more difficult. Um I think next we are gonna play ego. And we're going to play with the Guardians mix. Um, and I saw Bagel Top try that. Difficult? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if any of the other schemes in this box would be that much easier. Um, that scheme I don't feel like was hard. I don't feel like the scheme was hard. I feel like he was hard. And I he feel like hard. having the weapons in here with him is hard. Yeah. And the problem is, is we're going to be keeping the weapons in for the next one anyways. No matter which one we were to go against, the weapons would probably be in there. So, yeah. So it's going to be hard. Saturday's going to be hard. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Uh, fun at two. Very Just as fun as it was before. Yes. Lots of fun at two. Uh, we do enjoy this game at two. I, again, don't know if I'd even want to play it higher than two. Just because of the fact that you have more people pulling out the um, villain. villain cards. Which means things are filling up. You have more people buying from the market, which does mean, again, now these are pluses and minuses. More people coming in with the villain, you do get to add more villains and stuff into the deck. So the deck gets bigger, right? Yeah. More mass strikes, whatnot. Um, more people buying things does mean that more cards are going to come through the market. But it also means the selection for each person, if they're trying to build something, could yes. get less as well. So I really like it too. Again, most people that play solo play two-handed solo because that's probably the best way to play. I, I would love to see somebody try four-handed solo. There you go, Bagel Top. Try four-handed solo. Um, last is the theme. What did you think about the Guardians of the Galaxy theme? I love the you love Guardians it. of the Galaxy. And you, again, you like the movie. Yes, so it, right. Yes, I like the movie better because I'm familiar with the movie. So it feels more thematic, more yeah, fitting. I feel um, it more. For me, I did. I, I, I like it. And I like the, the movie art. Coming. And luckily now we have the core set for the movie so that whenever we get a new movie set, for me, it will feel right having all the same art. Um, the one thing for me that is still unthematic is the shield agents. 
the fact that, you know, they're S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. What, what are they doing in space? Why are they helping the Guardians, right? So that, again, easily solved. Make yourself some custom cards. Um, that makes me feel better. I actually like playing these because it did make it feel more thematic. I knew if I was playing S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, it would just seem weird. Um, unfortunately, it does kind of break this aspect where the more S.H.I.E.L.D. cards you play. But again, I don't think I would normally play with Nick Fury in the deck. I would probably choose maybe something you know, else like Mantis or Spider-Man or something like that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thematically it, it, it's fun. I think the, 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 I think the schemes are thematic. I don't feel like the schemes fit any of the villains. So none of the schemes do I feel like is Ronin's scheme and none of the schemes do I feel like is Ego's scheme. Like Ego's is going through the universe and populating planets and stuff like that. Remember, he's trying to plant his seeds so that way he can get the energy, right? Um, I don't feel like any of the schemes are that. So the that's why I did the mixtape because it's just generic, general. Um, same thing here. Ronan was trying to get, I guess if you did maybe the, oh no, you don't have the, the gem. Remember the, the gem that was inside the box that he was trying, that Ronan was trying to get for Thanos? Remember the, mm -hmm. the magic box? Okay. And then that's how they figure out that uh, something special about Star-Lord and he can actually hold the box, right? If that was a scheme, I think that'd be cool. But I think they've already got something like that in the core, which is capture the cosmic cube, oh, okay. which is, you know, for Red Skull and Loki and them. Either way, theme's good. We like the theme. Yeah, Again, if you like, like we said in the last video with the Marvel Studios, if you like the movies more than the comics, and you've not played Legendary, these would be good sets to get. Again, this one will be kind of hard. Uh, and Upper Deck did a live stream yesterday and said reprints, not likely. At least not until they get caught up on the content, which they said Black Widow and uh, Black Panther are coming up next. They mentioned Scarlet Witch, but I don't remember if that was for Versus or for this. Uh, and then they have a secret IP thing that they're going to talk about soon. Uh, other schemes and the other sets that have matched that, uh, probably why that, yeah, I could see that. But again, for me, that then breaks that, that cohesiveness of comic art versus movie art. Like I saw, okay, so Scarlet Witch is versus. Like I saw your gameplay where you were playing against Ego and you had the comic and the movie art. No, that was driving me insane. It just my OCD couldn't handle it. So for me, I would have to do that. I'd have to make a custom art for that scheme to play that scheme with whatnot. Uh, of course, we have enough content where that's not gonna happen for a while uh, because we play everything on the channel. So if they wanna watch any of the future Legendary Gameplay, what do they need to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Activate notification. Notification. And all, all that, that YouTube, YouTube stuff. stuff. Until next time, guys. Adios. Peace.